right, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Let's get this party started. Day two of Dune, and we are going to be hosting some games. So if you guys want to join, all are welcome. Make sure I have all the settings correct. Yes, yes. Skirmish, and it's just going to be called Turns Game, so anybody's welcome to join. And we go from there. All right. So we're going to do one game as Vernius again, just to try and figure them out a little bit. And then um, from there, we are going to switch to a uh, another faction. We'll probably do Harkonnens for game two and see how that plays out. So we've got Davok in here. He's a very good player. So um, yeah, should be a good test. Should be a good test. Would you like to hear some Warhammer news? Warhammer news? Uh, sure, why not? Why not? Um, we're going to be going to a tournament next month, actually. So that should be pretty fun. It'll be the first Old World tournament I'll be attending. So that'll be very fun in the uh, middle of April here. And um, as far as the counselors go, who do we want to play? So Tessa, Tessia, Tessia. Information levels required for aspiring missions are lower, and while no development is in progress, you can get a ton of intel, which, honestly, the information level for the spying mission seems good if you want to assassinate, which maybe let's try that this time. And for Kamar Pilru, so maximum intel... Yeah, he's the one that we won last night with by going governor. Yeah, he was the governor, man. I don't know which one we want to try. This guy's kind of cool, too, because you can get the... Uh, you can get, let's see, a lot of district bonuses with this. And you can definitely do pretty well in terms of the knowledge game. And being able to multi-build can really let you skyrocket if you're able to come into some money. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know which ones are really good. They're all so complicated. Maximum influence increased by 5. Uh, per knowledge, so if you're at 50 knowledge, okay, it's got to be 250 bonus. That ain't bad. Fremen are kind of broken. Yeah. Let's, uh... Well, yeah, apparently Fremen are like a little bit buggy and broken, so we could have him play something else, but um, yeah, he's probably going to switch to something else. Hopefully they'll hotfix him this week. That's why you haven't been seeing it. Can you go Giga here? Well, next game we're going to be playing Vernius this game, and then next game we're going to be playing Harkonnen, and I'm going to be using like Robin and uh, some of those characters. So yeah, this is like the expansionist one, which is cheaper to annex, and you get the free airfield. Let's try that character again. I think that one's pretty good. And then we could do the assassin one and try and do an assassination here. I don't know how good she's going to be, but yeah, we'll see what happens, man. We'll see what happens. So we're going to go for like mm, probably an assassination tree and try and, you know, take people out with those. I don't know if it's going to work at all, but we'll give it a good college try. Uh, this one is okay. I don't know if I really like that character. Let's go for homeboy here. All right. I think we're about ready. Um... Yeah, so Fremen are kind of broken at the moment. It's all good. <laughs> I guess we're just going to have to deal with them the old-fashioned way. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, we're going to get to see why the Fremen are broken. So it looks like Davok's going to be going on Carino. Apparently, Carino has something that can handle the Fremen being OP, I think, is what I heard people saying. So, Oh, man, this update is so fun. I mean, this game in general is just, uh, it's just great. I really like Spice Wars. I think it's a super underrated game. You know, there's a lot of weird, you know, 4x4 kind of, you know, grand strategy games out there that are really haggard. But this one is definitely a gem. And the universe and ambience it has is also just great. It really captures the Dune aesthetic relatively well. I mean, it's still a little bit cartoony, sure. But, you know, it's it's it's, it's it does it, man. It does it. AOS 4th was teased with 40k win rates. Oh, very, very cool, man. Yeah, I saw the 4th edition of AOS. Doesn't really excite me too much. Uh, I don't really care for the Age of Sigmar setting. Although the game, I'm sure, can be fun for some people. Um, Warhammer 40k, I also haven't played in a long time. I've been taking a bit of a break from that and just going all in on the old world, so. Yeah, man, let's get it. Yeah, I'd be willing to give Age of Sigmar another look if they if they change the rules a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so let's pause this bad boy and um, we'll do the Subboid Soldiers out of the gates and do an Ornithopter. Good. Good luck, have fun. Good luck, have fun. And we can also make a harvester right away, which is something I didn't notice. Looks like everybody's in here. Uh, also, please don't leave early. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So everybody's in here. And what we're going to do is last time we were able to... Um, yeah, this is the spice field, obviously, right? But we don't need to have the spice field taken to work it as long as it's near a tethered region. So we're going to see what we can do with that. We got our two Subboid Soldiers, and let's go ahead and get... Uh, can we afford two more of those? We can. All right, so we're going to do the Subboid Soldiers, the really crappy guys, and just kind of save money. Because the problem with using the drones, I realized, is that when they take damage, they... Um, okay, there's a fuel cell right there, right? So we go and grab that. When they take damage, the drones cost money to heal. Yeah. Favorite character from the new film? I don't know. I really liked a lot of it, honestly. 
Um, I really like the depictions of Robin. Not Robin, excuse me. Um, well, I thought Batista was very good, but I, I liked Fade a lot. I thought he was really, really a fun character. Um, all right, so we're going to obviously grab fuel cells with these bad boys, and soon we're going to be having the uh, Combine Harvester drone, so that will be popping out shortly. I think going for the um, heretical computing first and just rushing that is going to be really nice. That gives us the overpowered, um, not overpowered, but the agents that are pretty strong, right? All right, so we got you. We got our harvester. He's going to come down here and mine this. And uh, let's get you exploring, and we'll figure out where we want to go. So this is going to mine because it's near a tethered region. We don't need to own it. So we can like focus on other regions first, which is kind of a cool thing. All right, so we got two more of the Subboids, the, the Haggard Boys, and we're going to keep scouting and seeing which way we want to expand. We need to be like probably a little bit more on point with manually doing this. So let's run you up here. We do have a Plascrete right there, so we probably grab that out of the gates. Destination registered. Paul walking. Yeah, yeah. Paul, I mean, the, the what's his name? Timothy Chalamont did an excellent job with Paul Atreides. Let's go. Okay, is this like a region here? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so we got to go down there and see what's up. So we got this, we got this. Oh, we can go grab that. That's a free drop ship, and we'll get all these. Perfect. And I'm just trying to figure out how I want to lay out the base. With these guys, you got to be very, very on point with that. So what do we got here? Water and economy building production. So let's just get a plascrete there. And the water in that region is what? Eh, it's three. It's still not bad. So here we have the Moondew Valley. Uh, that's not a bad region to grab quickly because the buildings don't consume water, number one. But number two... Um, we're going to be able to get up to 5k hedge quicker, which is going to give us access to the uh, to the patents, which we want to file, right? Aside from that, I should be pillaging a lot, so we need to figure out what villages we want to pillage. Obviously, going to be pillaging the spice field, right? But firstly, just grabbing everything around us that we can, which is going to be quite a few uh, free resources here. All right, so let's get that free ornithopter and have you go scout. And we got this also, which is 100 intel. Not really a whole lot we can do with this right now. We're going to go pillage this village, and then we'll probably head across. That one's 69 to get. That's what she said. So we'll probably grab that. Hack the enemy and release incriminating photos. I don't think, like, like the Baron would care if you released lewd photos of him. I, I think he would just be like, yeah, yeah, it's kind of what I do. I am the Baron. So let's do a little bit of pillaging. It's kind of, I like the strategy of not taking the first village. I think that's pretty clean. So let's surround this. All right, there we go. Let's attack with our haggard subvoid soldier legion. We could get one more. Yeah, let's get one more because they bo they get a bonus of up to five for having a you know a high number of them. Oh yeah, and this is rare minerals too for sure. So we definitely want to grab that. We need to pillage to make sure we have our patents and whatnot. Let's go ahead and get the fuel cells. And the heretical computing is online. This region has plascrete per economy building. So all right. Let's head over. It is three units. We're going to have to micro a little bit here to not lose things, which, uh, you know, micro is pretty dreaded. And then we go down here. Ooh, that's pretty nice, actually, that region. All right, so let's get on top of this region and take down the demo militia, obviously. And you can see when you have them in numbers, they actually do decent damage, these subvoid soldiers. It's not bad. They're just really squishy, so you kind of have to micro them a little bit. Is Dune a fun game? I love it, personally. It's, it's probably one of my favorite kind of sort of grand strategy type games I've played in a while. Yes, my lord. I love the robotic voices. I think that's a nice touch. So we're going to need to grab some water. Heretical computing should be done. Let's slap you on Arrakis. We can't buy the heretical computers quite yet, but we're going to clear this out and get this. And then we go down and get this. This is a knowledge region. Yeah, that has a pretty good trait. So with these guys, you you can't have multiple regions next to each other that are all connected to the nodal network. So you have to create your base kind of like a bit of a pencil. All right, so composite materials will give us plascrete production. Then we could do sequential thinking. And um, Neuro, do we want to get this? Yeah, that's the S vaults. Holistic thinking gives you knowledge for the machines. All right, so now we have the heretical machine. I'm going to put him in um, Arrakis for now. So that's going to give us a ton of authority. We're going to get like plus two bonus authority. So the heretical machines, you can buy them. And it costs lands rad though, so are a little bit dodgy. But um, you want to connect this to the nodal network first. Let these guys heal up a little bit, looking good. And then we go down here and grab this when we have enough. And we get authority really, really quick with these guys, like incredibly quick. Yeah, Davox a really good player. I don't know about the other two, so we're going to see how they how they roll out here. What the hell is this? Did we just get attacked by a random... Did a random raider just show up? Seriously? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, don't kill this gun too. Oh my god, I just lost two of those. It's fine. We're so junky. Uh, let's get a railgun drone. I think it's time to get some like decent stopping power in this force, and then we can also get a subway soldier. 
And, oh, that's right. We need to go to the armory. I don't have the armory yet. So we got to get survival training. God, they die so quick. You look away for a second and they just die. What is this guy? This raider here is like just soloing all my haggard subways. All right. That's fine. A little bit potato micro on my end, but it's, it's, it's fine. We'll survive. All right. So let's get you a heavy militia. And from here, uh, what does this region do? We get plus one per economy building. So let's get water here, obviously. And um, that's connected. So you can see we have our nice little shape there. And that was really Bronze Odia that I lost those. We don't have the armory upgrades yet. We do have the siege. So is there any free... Do I want to reveal a siege? Yeah, let's reveal a siege. Why not? All right. So we'll get survival training to get the armory upgrades real quick. And heretical computing, I could go ahead and buy some more. So let's buy another heretical computer. And we're going to go to um, the Achome. And that's going to give me just 20 passive income, which is crazy good. Crazy, crazy good. All right. It's time. Have you played any of the other grand strategy games from Paradox? Yeah, I played a couple of them. Uh, which one specifically? Okay, so all factions get a Benny Gesserit agent. Um, I do have 189, 189. So we're pretty much all tied up here. Nothing is really that good. I mean, if all factions get a Benny Gesserit, that's really nice. So I'm just going to put my free votes into that. This would be a good one. Um, Harkonnens put their taint on it, so I don't want that. Uh, I'm just going to put my free votes into the Benny Gesserit and try and get one of those. All right. And do we have any other spice fields around here? We haven't discovered any yet. And I would imagine, oh, here's a spice field here. Perfect. So we can send a harvester up here to work this spice field, which is um, just A-OK. -okay. That's really nice. And we don't need to capture it either, so we can keep expanding down this way. All right, so let's wait for the railgun to come out. Smugglers, yeah, all the factions are fun, man. The heroes really add a lot of flavor, too. I'm, I'm really, really glad we got those. The fuel cells are online. We have another harvester, which is going to go work this field over here. We'll grab this and continue our little, like, pencil shape going around. In the meantime, we can do some pillaging here, so let's go pillage this. We're going to have a railgun drone coming, and uh, they won't take damage, so we don't really need to worry about healing them as much. And once we get survival training, we're going to get the uh, free tech for the subvoid soldiers. That makes them cost zero upkeep, so you can just kind of spam them. All right. Outstanding. So that's been taken. We're going to pillage this real quick. Just take the dough where we can. And uh, yeah, we got the rare minerals going over here. Not yet. We will in a moment. All right. So let's get the rare minerals. Boom. Looking good. That region's going to get pillaged, and then we'll head back and heal. And then we'll go and take one of these further villages. And a siege has been revealed. It is over here. Uh, the siege gives us the Fremen sibling agents, which isn't bad. Let's send the drone up here. So it's going to fly over there and grab that. Yeah, the special region has rare minerals. It, it ended up being a very good one. All right, so let's go ahead and get the supply drop. I'm going to get probably... Do we have the heretical machine? We do have it on Chome. I'm going to buy one more, which is going to... Oh, it'll put me a negative lands rad, so I can't quite do that. So I'm going to try and get peace with the Fremen. For now, um, let's see if they want it. So let's do a non-aggression with the Fremen. And I can offer one of my machines, too, to sweeten the deal. So that'll give them one of my heretical machines, which they can use to uh, party with, right? All right, holistic thinking isn't bad. Although in tropic engineering, probably we want to get that first. And now we can build up in the main base as well. So are we close to patent time? We're not close to patents yet. We're getting there. And for the armory, let's get the upgrade for these guys. That makes them free. So no Solari upkeep on the uh, subvoids now. So we can just kind of have a legion of those guys doing it. So I feel like I'm getting the hang of this faction. Davok has sent a trade request. Um, he wants a non-aggro, but I got it with the Fremen already, so I'm, I'm chilling. Yeah, we're, we're all good. So the railgun and the troopers should be able to clear this out. Um, let's just move you back in here. Okay. And uh, yeah, our, our network is expanding. Vernius is very fun. I'm going to leave Davok in the scene zone. <laughs> Um, okay. I'm hoping he's not my neighbor. Okay, we have a Harkonnen neighbor, which is, you know, still pretty aggressive. They can be pretty crunk, so that's who we would theoretically be trying to assassinate, right? Um, in the main base, what do we want to get? Uh, knowledge gains are always good, so we could do that, but the patents are going to be close. I need to make sure I have the money for that. Let's get another railgun drone, because I think they're good for clearing early on, and, um... Let's go ahead and grab the research center. I think for us, and we need to start getting some knowledge building. So we're going to start pumping out the knowledge buildings in pretty much all of our territories here. All right, so we got another agent. Let's slap him on Landsrad. And um, do we have enough? No, we don't have enough to not go into the negative here. So let's get the nodal network. Because every time you build one of these nodes, by the way, it hurts your Landsrad. Because it's kind of like heretical, right? It's, it's a little shady McGrady. Let's grab that. And um, we have a free ornithopter up here. Let's go get this, and you, buddy, can go get that. So we're just going to grab all the freebies we have laying around and 
go from there. All right, so that's going to finish in a moment. We should be able to get a heavy in there. We need to probably get at least one manpower building, but I find this faction doesn't really need a lot of manpower. You can get away without using it. So now we need to start spamming knowledge. Without knowledge, we're just kind of a potato, right? Entropic Engineering will let us augment our harvesters. And then we can go and get the Chome integration. And that's going to be the first thing I patent because everybody eventually gets Chome integration. So we're going to slap a patent down on that to make people uh, pay us the troll toll when they want to when they want to buy a license. Is the military trash if not tethered? Uh, it's not as good, but you can tether remotely using a, a mission. And you can get intel super easily with this faction by assigning the thinking machines onto an enemy faction. And that just gives you like 10 intel. It's pretty nuts. So you can you can pop off that way too. Okay, I don't like how close the Harkonnens are, so I'm going to expand away from them. We have another spice field down here, which we could grab, um, which is fine. Let's go ahead and augment these now with the Entropic Engineering. It just takes fuel cells, so it's not too bad. And now we have the two rail guns coming, and it uh, looks like they've handled that. There's a siege in here, for sure. Our heavy militia looks like they took care of it, but there is a siege. Okay, Intel, and we got the free tech there, so that's going to speed along Chome integration. And then what else do we want to hit? Um, we can probably hit like, yeah, holistic thinking is a really good one. That would give us a, bu a bunch of bonus knowledge as well. And we need to get water down here too. We get our first special building. All right, let's do a little bit of pillaging. So let's gather the boys up. We need to pillage all these regions. And as far as expanding goes, probably down this way, I need to expand away from danger. Um, I think that I I'm not familiar enough with these guys and their military capacity yet to take on a head-on fight with like a really strong faction like, you know, well, I don't know if Harkonnens, their early military is pretty good. Everything's kind of been reworked, so, you know, it's all up in the air. Let's grab water here. And the main base building is going. Let's go ahead and get the intelligence agency. They can build two. Oh, I got to pay attention to this fighting. They can build two ba build, uh, main base buildings at the same time, which is really cool. So I, I like that a lot. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and get sequential thinking. Um, that lets us go across the deep desert, right? And then diplomatic maneuvers probably is worth researching early because that one will give us... Um, yeah, we could get the fighting mechs, but they cost money. Quite a bit of money. All right. The win condition, Vernius can do... I want, So I won yesterday on stream um, with them using... Uh, I became the governor, but I was using a build that was very... My counselors today are more tailored towards like assassination and things like that. So um, I don't know how that's going to go down, but we're going we're gonna to give it a good old college try here. How many armory slots do we have? Yeah, and we got a railgun slot too, so we'll, we'll perhaps upgrade them. Having to micro these little goblins in the beginning is certainly a little bit daunting at times. All right, so that's going, and um, once that finishes, we should complete that. Our income is pretty good. We just need to file patents at 5K. So once we capture one more region, we should be up there. Okay, so the Davok is down there. Expanding towards him is definitely dangerous. Um, we're going to pillage this, and I think we just grab this region and start like, hmm. Let's actually go up here and just grab the Spice Field, and then we can maybe move up and grab the uh, White Rift for the hedge. Yeah, I think that's going to be the play. And we can get another Subway Soldier in a moment if we want. All right, so we have 197. Fremen have 200. And um, yeah, I really don't want the Trial of the Great Houses. So I'm just going to spend my lands rad to deny this. Because if this goes off, I'm going to have a really, really bad time. Yeah, it's very similar to ECAS in that you need to be really scheming how you want to expand. So I can't afford this because the lands rad already doesn't like me because of the technology stuff. So... We're at 216 now, so now I can build another thinking machine without taking any uh, substantial penalties. Yeah, looking great. I'm trying to be really defensive this game. Let's get the permanent three mo free money here. We have the supply drop, and um, this is the one, the ambient connection, that lets you tether your units remotely, by the way. It's, it's nice. All right, so that looks good. That looks good. And this is what? For military building? So we can go ahead and slap down one building here. And then we need to get a maintenance center right here to reduce the cost of our other two regions. So that should be pretty nice for us. And we'll go get this. All right. So technology is about ready. So let's go down and get the military tech in case we get aggressed on pretty hard. Green tree. Sequential. Each node on the longest path gives plus one knowledge. Yeah, we probably should get that at some point. But I'm just trying to expand away from people. I just want to be like a tech hermit, you know? Like just, just hanging out in the shadows and doing God knows what. All right, so we're just kind of kiting with you. You can see how the early army for these guys can be a little bit janky. Man, that guy's going hard in the paint. All right. Come on, subway soldiers. We need the railguns to finish them off. I have a free upgrade for the railguns, too, by the way. I need to I need to get on that. So for the railguns, we have the free upgrade. This one gives you... 
Yeah, plus two power while tethered. That sounds pretty good. All right, so we take that region. It does have three water. It's not the worst. And it is a spice field we already own. Um, I could work this spice field, but I'm saving money for patents. Although I can, I think I'm going to get enough to patent right now. Turn digging a basement for his computer. Yes, of course. That's what's going on here, guys. So we got two in this region. That's going to give us influence in Intel production. Um, and we can buy another machine now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put him onto the Harkonnens. Uh, they don't count towards information levels. But look, I have plus 10 of the Intel right now. Or plus 7 or something. It's it's a lot. So let's get the nodal network. And let everybody heal up here. And we could go grab this region. We're almost at 5k. It's kind of annoying. Not quite there yet, but I'm rushing to 5k. Fremen got it, so hmm, I haven't been able to get my patents down yet. Let's hopefully hopefully we can get some patents down. I know Davok likes to go very heavy military, so hopefully uh, hopefully we don't suffer the wrath of that because he's playing on a faction he probably knows how to play. <laughs> and uh, still learning these guys. Ooh, this is a pretty good village actually. So let's get um, a Plascrete node here. All right, and uh, do we take this region? It's 125. We honestly are going to be able to. And this is the White Rift, so yeah, we can do that. Trade agreement from you. He wants, wants some spice. That's interesting. Um, all right, so the Harvester Drone is there. Let's get you down here and have you go work this. As long as it's next to one of your nodal regions. Ah, shit. That's the thing. You can't really afford to look away with these guys. You look away for one second, your subvoid soldiers are just like that. You're like, oh, I'm too weak. Well, anyways, we grab that, and uh, we don't have enough for that. All right, so unassigned agent. Let's put you on Spacing Guild so we can get some manpower, finally. And uh, yeah, this is all under the effects of the maintenance center. So the whole main base is maintenance centered out. We're gonna get this one soon. And we're alive, man, we're not dead yet. Hey, turn, looks like I'm a bit late. It's going good, man, it's going good. Yeah, we're just learning this new faction. All right, so let's get a couple more of these. Our eco is actually reasonably good too. And in the main base, we could build out a, I don't know if I wanna go for politics this game. So we're probably gonna go for, um, yeah, the Spice Laboratory is insanely good. This one gives you knowledge per exploited spice field, so that's going to be money for us, right? All right, so we take that. That's going to put us up and over. And now we can go ahead and put some patents down. So if we go to the patent area, uh, we're going to file a patent on Chome integration so that anybody who wants to research that, which it's an auto take. That's like a tech you can't play the game without, is going to have to pay the troll toll. So we have our first patent down, so they'll have to buy a license if they want to, um, if they want to play, play with that. We're grabbing that. Looks like they're heading to this. I do have a heavy here, but the main base was able to take care of them. So, cool. So we got that. Awesome little region up here. And uh, what is it? Yeah, cheaper buildings. All right. Gotta love it. We gotta start spamming out some knowledge, by the way. Our knowledge is hurting, so we need to get some plascrete and uh, really start, start building up knowledge. Go, my minions. Go. Go, my haggard subvoid soldiers. All right. So we're about to get guild collaboration. Um, I can skip tech trees now and get like advanced tech. Um, I'm not sure how I want to play this. Holistic thinking is going to be really good too. I probably need to get that. So we'll get holistic thinking after this. My knowledge should be way higher at this point. So it's one new Bodia thing I've done so far. But that's partially why my economy is also not bad. Just because I haven't been spamming knowledge buildings like I usually do. All right. So we'll get another heavy up here and it should be fine. Oh, dude. Yeah. The, the Dune movie was fun. I really enjoyed the hell out of it. It's very rare that we get movies like that in this day and age, you know? Alright, so we're going to grab those three nodes nearby. We'll build the node network up here. Let's get a heavy. And um, we're pretty well developed here. Yeah, assume we go for the holistic thinking. Geothermal condensers could be fine. I don't know if that's really worth doing. But we have the... Nobody has researched Chome integration yet. As far as other patents go... We could put a patent here, so if anybody tries to go down the uh, assassin tech tree, they're going to pay the troll toll. So let's actually put a patent here. So we file a patent on that. So even though it's heretical computing for me, for other players, it's going to be... Um, and we need to put a patent on valuable trinkets. That's another one. That's going to be pretty massive. All right. So knowledge is power. Uh, in the main base, yeah, we have the spice laboratory coming, which is going to be good. And we need to get the network connecting. Oh, is that going to put us in the negative on Landsrad? Almost. <laughs> That's pretty wild, man. That's pretty wild how that works out. And we need water here. Yes. We've got the spice. We've got another free ornithopter. So let's have you go scouting. And then we also got a siege revealed. So where's the siege? So that's the one siege. And this siege is in our land already. That's pretty good for us, actually, because it gives you spying reduction time. So if we go for assassin, that's going to be really nice. Uh, let's get one on Chome. Cool. 
and go from there. Yeah, the Harkonnens would definitely be someone who'd be fun to go after, so probably setting up a, a base here. And, like, because the thing is, I can get free assassination, uh, like, nodes on people's lands if they're near one of my tethered regions. So you can definitely do some trolley stuff with that. Allied unit losing supply, so let's get back, and then we need to gather up our legions and start pillaging, pillaging again. Um, let's get a fight engineer and a resonance drone. Really expensive, man. 500 Gs for that guy is no joke. All right. So Landsrad is up. We're not playing Landsrad too hard. Economy developments. So if we do get economy developments, we obviously jump at that, right? Um, our knowledge has spiked pretty heavily, and it, once we get heretical thinking, we'll get plus one knowledge per information level in a field that has a machine in it. So we're going to get like plus three or four knowledge, which should be nice. Uh, all factions lose this, so we need to decline this hard. Because if that goes down, we're just suffering, right? Okay, we opposed it. Somebody, the Fremen tried to support it, but we rejected that. Because we can't afford to lose Landsrad. And like, a lot of the things that House Vernius does, the Landsrad is just not chill with. They're like, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't do that here. Alright, so we could build some main base buildings. Could get an early research station. Um, not a bad idea up here, since we have this, like, cost reduction. Um, experimental factory probably isn't super good for us. So let's slap down the research station up here. It is a little bit close to Harkonnen lands, which gives me a little anxiety, but... You know, it is what it is. So let's do a little bit of pillaging. Um, do I want to apply any more patents anywhere? There's nowhere that I can really... Oh, I can put a patent right here. So when anybody goes down to military tech... So we just put a patent on guild collaboration, which means when anybody wants to go high tier military, they're going to have to pay me now. <laughs> I think that's enough patents for now. I don't think we need too many more. We've blockaded like three of the very important techs. The only other thing I would do would be valuable trinkets. So, okay. So spice enlightenment, chum support... Uh, we'll do advanced engineering. That's a pretty good one. Once we get the heretical thinking. It is heresy. So now we have the fight engineer. The fight engineer character allows you to heal your armies if they're drones. So that's pretty nice. Uh, this one's been pillaged. No, no super good traits here. I'm just looking to see if any of these have like scientists or anything. No. This one actually has a nice trait. We can grab that village. All right. Let's get some more heavies on the faraway lands. And now, instead of having to heal our machines, we can do the healing aura. So you can see it's going to be doing a huge healing ring, which will heal our drones. So then we don't need to pay to heal them, right? Uh, this game is not really like a Warhammer or Age of Empires. It's pretty different. It's like a mixture of Civ with a RTS uh, turn to it, which is why I love it. Because I love the RTS side of it. Yeah, it's really fun. So we're at 24 knowledge now, which is pretty respectable. It's going to be even more once we finish that research center there. Uh, we're out of fuel cells, but we do have the water batteries, which means we can use water as fuel cells with Vernius, right? We're at 7.9, um, and yeah, we are having a good old time. Okay, so do we have any free armory upgrades? We do. So with this one, this lowers the armor of nearby enemies, which is super good. Um, and this guy, the second upgrade we can get... Oh, for a second, I thought somebody was coming into my lens for a second. It's like, it begins! They're coming for me! Uh, do we want to do anything here? Sequential thinking and neural tropism is good. You get some decent main base buildings. Uh, we can actually do local hubs too. And then we can go down and get valuable trinkets. Although physical wiring is the one that lets you do the really quick assassinations. Okay, it's really easy to miss things like this, by the way. Like this little raid over here, I almost didn't notice that. Yeah, I almost didn't notice that. That would have been really, really bad. And we need to get like heavies like in most of these regions. All right, so the Plascrete is going. The main base is, um, I need to get the Neural Core. Connected Neural Nodes produce one fuel cell. That's really good for us. So sequential thinking will help us along. Ready, my lord. We clear out these militia. And um, do I want to lay down any more patents? Probably not. So from here, we need to get the Chome Branch. Chome Branch is like an auto-take. We've cleared that out, so we don't have any drama there. Let's take the free tech and call it a day. All right. So can we do any pillaging nearby? I think we pillaged, we pillaged, we pillaged. Um, we've expanded away from Davok. We are on the borders with the Harkonnen, which is a little bit dodgy. For sure. The Fremen are my allies. I'm going to buddy-buddy with the Fremen and see if I can get them to... Uh, uh, do I want to give them... I gave them a machine. So the Fremen are using one of my machines right now, which is pretty great. I love the flavor of that. All right. Let's get that slot. Do this. Probably get a maintenance center up here, too. This village is a little bit tricky to get to. And we'll start switching into a mech-based army because you can avoid the penalty for having to repair them with money uh, once you have the fight engineers. So we can get some fighting mechs in our front line and start, you know, clearing things out. The Subvoid Soldiers, I think, really, really shine uh, early game. 
is where they uh, where they do their business. All right, so we're at 27 knowledge. Uh, the maintenance center has finished up here. Let's go ahead and get you. Get another one of these. Finish the pillage. And come back. And now we have another agent. So Arrakis is going good. We can't afford to buy another machine. So I'm going to slap him on Landsrad. That'll give us a lot of influence. And then for factions, let's put you on here. Yeah. Then you can go here for now. And we can go ahead and start on some early infiltration cells. So we're going to just do that since we have really good uh, production. And we're just going to start slapping them down around here and having some fun. What are the best techs to rush with the 5k? I'm not sure yet. It's a little bit early. I don't have like super good insight for you guys yet, but in due time I will. So I'd like to just make these guys really tanky. Um, so plus one armored while tethered. And let's give them... Mm, yeah, I think we'll, we'll, think, we'll think on that one. Do I have a worm call? I do have worm call. Let's get the worm call in there. Can I afford to do anything in the main base at the moment? Not quite. I'm going to take this region though. And oh, Harkonnen's getting a little bit crunk though. They're coming at me. Maybe they want to fight. I don't know if that's the case. Thankfully, we do have the fighting mechs coming out, so that should be uh, a deterrent. All right. The fighting mechs are tanky. That's all they do. They just tank. So we grab this. Uh, we're at 9k. At 10k, we can obfuscate, so we can block a technology. So what you usually do is you block valuable trinkets so people can't build craft workshops, so they can't beat you on hedges easily. That's, I think, how you play this faction. I think uh, or at least a big variable in it, right? All right. So we got three spice fields being worked. Um, we have the Chome branch coming. Neural tropism is good. And then we can get valuable trinkets, but we don't need to block that yet. So I think after this, we go for the... Um, we can actually go for the end tier tech here. All right. So let's build a node here. Oh, if we actually build a node here, it puts us in the negative with Landsrad. Because <laughs> it costs three Landsrad. Oh, that's rough. All right. Let's just get some water here for now. And um, all right. So we'll put that down. And then um, we can just keep going on the infiltration cells. Because our agent we have, um, Teshia, she makes it one cheaper to uh, to do missions, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think consuming fuel cells is a good idea for these guys. So let's just give them damage against non-mechanical units. And then for you, uh, damage against flyers. I think we can do propelling ammo. Flyers? Yeah, I think we're going to do propelling ammo. And then for you, we have knowledge while tethered. That's actually really nice. So we can just like get knowledge. Yeah, so that's, those machines are just going to give us knowledge while they're sitting in our base, which I really like. So let's get a couple more resonance drones. That's going to give us more knowledge also. All right, so back here, uh, recycling vats. We got the Chome branch. And uh, here we go. So I do have 300 votes. The Fremen have me beat pretty good. Um, I need to spend some, so yeah, I don't want that. Military developments, I could slow down. Nobody has paid my, I don't think. Oh no, look at that. So Harkonnen... House Carino bought my patent here. Harkonnen bought my patent here. And then we had our patent also purchased here too. So they're all buying licenses. That's good. Uh, Harkonnen tanked on that one, which I really, really don't want. And this one is, if this passes, okay, that's fine. So we're just going to get a little free lands right here from this one because it's dear to the minor houses. So we're going to try and slap that down. So then I can build, um, then I can build more. I need to get in more like friendly relations with people. The Harkonnens are definitely, the, the Space Chonks are not happy with us, likely. They're never happy. Let's get an airfield up here, and then we'll set up another one of these. We're trying to rush along to the physical wiring. That allows the training of assassins when that finishes. Okay. And, um, yeah, so wow, look how much easier it is to assassinate with, the, uh, with, the, with this faction. You, you don't even, you barely need anything. You don't need any information levels in anything. You only need it with the faction. That's crazy good. That's crazy good. All right. So let's go ahead and get another agent. Um, let's rip you off the spacing guild. And then we can just slap you down here. And then we can put you here too. All right. Right on, man. So we're at 31 knowledge. Uh, we can do a little scavenger teams action. The Chomconans are nearby. Yeah, the embassy is good. It's not bad. This one's nice, though, too, because you get fuel cells and 2% of your knowledge uh, per connected node. So you can get, you know, another 10% knowledge or something. So I think we're going to go for that. Embassy does give you... Yeah, the, the embassy might actually be better here because just getting lands rad. I don't know. But regardless, we should finish this. So 10 in fully built villages. Water bats is going to be nice. I think we need water just to make sure we don't get absolutely owned here. And let's get this. Start pillaging again. 
And our army's building up. We're about to get two resonance drones, which lower armor and give us knowledge. So you're going to see my knowledge is going to shoot up to 33, 34. Ooh, that's so good. I love that. Those drones are rad, man. And um, for you, we're just going to do this. So allied drones get a little buff and go from there. All right. So I don't like how close he's getting, although he's taking that. That's a little bit dodgy. Hopefully the Fremen will keep Davok busy. He's definitely a better player than I am at this right now. <laughs> for sure right now. He's been playing more than me. So I got to watch out for him. Um, he's, he's, he's a threat. Alright, so let's just keep pillaging. I don't know if he's going to come for me. Maybe he will. Uh, let's get a knowledge building here. So we're at 34 knowledge. Where are the drones? Our drone legion is going to keep creeping. And I can recruit a hero now. So we're going to get the ranged hero because I think it's too hard to micro the melee one. I'll follow your commands. So now we have our hero here. She's going to fly down. So this hero is really good for drone armies because she repairs them. So um, we now have our hero. We're at 10k, right? So if somebody attacks, at least we're ready with our drone hero. So she can set up a giant repair station that's like super good. Uh, let's get a couple more fighting mechs. Uh, let's see if there's any patents I want to file. Uh, I can obfuscate some things, but I don't know how we want to do that. Intel is looking fine. We need to get the Chonkonans a little bit more on them. And uh, I guess we just keep pillaging, man. Yeah, we're saving up quite a bit. We are getting boxed in a little bit, which is a little dodgy. Let's go ahead and get on Space and Guild here. And uh, probably need to get a missile turret. My army feels pretty good, though. I feel like I have a respectable force for this point in the game. And I love the one that the machines can just go bananas. I think that's so fun. They have one that rampages enemy machines. New challenge awaits. All right, so let's take this down. And um, we're going to get physical wiring, which is pretty much all we're going to be doing here. Countermeasures, I might need to do that too, though. I feel like assassination is pretty powerful now, so if I don't have any counter intel, I could be paying the troll toll. So renegades have arrived from space, eh? The space renegades. Evil. Extra evil. Looks like we're fine down here. Might need to do something to help out. Hopefully those heavies can win that fight. And um, we can get a listening post here, but I think a little missile turret just to kind of be a deterrent against aggression would be good. It is next to our main base, so that's not like a good angle for him to attack, right? All right, so yeah, we need to we need to fill out everything with heavies. These mech-based armies are pretty cool. All right, so do we have the heavies up here? We do, and um, our Plascrete is not as good this game. I felt like I had insane Plascrete in the previous matches. It's nice that we have this like little ring of pillaging areas that we can just kind of feast on. Uh, he is like kind of parking up on me here a little bit. So we got you, you, and you. There's no more spice fields we need to work. We probably go down. We have our patents. People are paying the patents. Physical wiring, and then what do we want to do? Do we want to go for energy efficiency? There's so many techs to get with these guys, man. There's so many techs. I know we can just skip things, too. So we can go straight for things that even if we don't have the prerequisites. So parts production gives you mechanical unit health 20%, which is insanely good, right? It's insanely good. So we're ready to do an assassination now. Um, let's go ahead and block valuable trinkets because that will shut down Carino. So we're going to try and obfuscate that. If he tries anything here, we do have a turret in the main base. I don't think he could push through us. I, I really don't think he could. So we're just going to hang out nearby and just be ready to party. Uh, the spaceship for our faction is insanely good. I could maybe start doing that since I'm not playing uh, that element of things. Okay, man, I have like nothing going on here. We could go take this field down here. It's 146. Currently hedge. I'm not in first. So I think we can afford to take a little uh, excursion down here and grab that. All right, so let's go grab that if we can. I really don't think he's going to attack me. I'd be pretty shocked. The The Baron uh, has actually no longer has peace with me. This is still a little ways off, but not for long. And can I get any more heretical machines? I think I can. Okay, so let's go buy an analytical machine and assign it onto another faction. And that's just going to give us even more intel production. So we're going to go take this region. Uh, he's got a good army gathered here. It's respectable. I would hate to get attacked while I'm away. So maybe we just send a couple subvoids. Can they actually take that on? Probably not. Okay. I need to get more units before I move out. Let's grab one more subvoid and he can go down there and, and, and do that. So as far as this goes, we finished out that region. Um, we need to start getting some military here. So let's go ahead and get the command post. And um, yeah, that's going to make our army a little bit cheaper. The valuable trinkets is what we're going to obfuscate, so we're going to block that so nobody can get it. Um, I don't know if he would even be using that yet. The Fremen are expanding pretty wildly. Okay, we're getting shy-haluted potentially here. 
Oh my god, if my hero gets eaten, I'm going to be so sad. That's happened to me a couple times, because to resurrect heroes, it costs quite a bit. Alright, so we're going to hold position there. Just playing very defensively. We'll send the Subvoid Soldiers and like maybe one mech down to go deal with that, and they, hopefully they can get it. Alright, Lands Ride Council's in session. If Okay, so if I get gear regulated here, that's going to be a big tell. Um, the Fremen want to trade. Fremen with 800 influence already. Yeah, I need to turn Davok against them. You see that, right? Because I only have 200. I'm, I'm not playing politics. I'm going more for the assassination. Uh, this one has Harkon and Tain on it. We don't really care about that. No idea how good it is. Okay, so we're going to put this on the chunks. Because I'm not really doing anything else with my influence. So I'm just going to like put 200 on them. I'm hoping it'll get him off my border. Okay, oh man. The Fremen actually tried to get me with that, which is wild. Harkonnen got everything and gear regged. So that's that's not... Let's see if we can get... As much as I hate getting a non-aggression with Carino, I'm going to offer it here. And I'm going to sweeten the pot by giving him one of my machines. <laughs> I need peace with them right now, right? I think I do. So Valuable Trinkets is going to be finished. Then we need to get countermeasures. And did he take it? He did. Okay, great. So now I don't need to worry about being attacked for a while, and I can go and... Um, I don't know why. I have no idea why he paused. <laughs> a harmless gadget. Neat. I'm sure this is completely harmless. Yeah, he's, he's, he's role-playing into it, which is good. Uh, Chome is being contested by a couple players, but I'm not really playing that too much, so... Yeah, we're, we're okay here. Yeah, Davok accidentally paused there, I think. All right, so we're going to head down this way. We're going to grab this influence. Um, as far as this goes, I got a fight engineer for free, which is cool. As fast as I can. So let's go down this way and grab this region. All right, so we can leave most of our army here. Let's grab the subvoid soldiers. And we can grab like a rail gun and a resonance drone and just head down here. As you command. All right, so the, that part of the army can go do its thing. Because I have, I have other fish I would like to fry, you know? I have other fish I would like to fry. We started getting the early military just to be safe. Um, embassy could be good. This one's so nice, though, the Neural Core. Oh, it's so good. Once we get a little bit more Plascrete, we can actually slap down a... Yeah, Fusion Plant is an auto-take for these guys, by the way. Because of the fact that it makes mechanical units recruit really quickly, which normally they're much slower, so... Understood. All right, so let's do that, and then we can go ahead and get the Fusion Plant. I love that I can, like, multi-build my main base with this faction. I think that's a really fun touch. And uh, let's go ahead and get, let's see, yeah. You see how I have two more infiltration cells available on the Harkonnens if I want to? They're not, I need. I think 13 regions would be eligible and they're not expanding fast, sounds good. Yeah, he would know better than me, so. Let's do a supply drop here to make sure we don't lose out on that. And attack. Need to get this railgun drone back. Little resonance drones tanking it up in the front line. Countermeasures, I, I feel like I'm kind of a little bit lax on that, but man, I have like no agents. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, how do I really handle that here? Let's get you on this. The subway drones do buff nearby, or the subway warriors do buff nearby units, which is kind of cool. Um, I guess we would expand down here. That's a little bit aggressive towards Carino, but Carino I currently have peace with. All right, let's take that. And then we just need to keep one of you guys here to capture that. And yeah, see, these uh, every one of these is people paying my patents. So a lot of the money I'm getting coming in is people just paying my patents, which is really funny. <laughs> yes, pay the patents. <laughs> the Baron is going to feel the power of Google. <laughs> yeah, he is. Google Fiber is going to get all up in that. All right, so we cleared this out. They literally stole the StarCraft sound effect. I'm, I will, I will die, on, die on this hill. I feel like they did. All right, so let's get a neural node down here. Get some heavies. Uh, you guys run home. We go. I can fix any so I'm at 13k. Harkonnens are getting pretty aggressive at 14 here. Let's go ahead and put one out here. And then, so we can, man, it's crazy how many infiltration cells we can actually get on the chunks. We can get like four or five. I think you can get even more. if you put, So if you put the infiltration cells in regions that are next to your nodes, you can get even more. It's pretty pretty wild. Alright, so definitely we just want to get water down here. And then we can get Space and Guild next. 
So countermeasures is ready. And from here, we probably will obfuscate this. It does take quite a bit. Uh, let's get the spice going. Ooh, our military isn't amazing, though. But I don't think the Harkonnens are either. Let's actually look. Because we can go to our agents and look right now. We can see, I think, what their tech is, right? Let's see. Yeah, they're pretty reasonably rich. A lot of manpower. They have Fade and they have Kron. All right, I like how I can spy on all this. Active Ornithopters, number of villages. So they're not... Look, I can see his tech. So he has, like, no red tree development. So I think we're okay. Uh, all right, so let's slap you into the old uh, chome. And um, we probably want to buy one more machine. How much are they? 18 to buy another machine, Landsrad. Oof, that's that's going to tank us into the pits of hell. That's for damn sure. And um, so now we have this and this. Our army's going to be a lot cheaper. I could get the Neural Core. I think that's probably not a bad idea, but I would rather save up for the Air Force and do that. Um, as far as the fighting mechs go, let's get a couple of those. And we probably need another Railgun at some point or other. We can go pillage this. Looking fine. Our knowledge is 43. And the Chonks, where do we want to put this? Let's just put it back here. It's kind of hard to get like the sneaky sneaky going all the way back there, but that should be fine. I would like to get one more machine. Yeah, no, this faction's all about getting knowledge, though. It's not too hard to get this much at this point, I don't think. Um, we could do a spice silo here. Not a bad idea since we are working that spice field. Could get a spice silo in any number of these villages. Let's get the heavies there. I like that I have these like little personal pillaging regions like right next to my main base. That's that's a very nice thing. Just kind of bouncing around. And um, down here, that's right. We were going to do something else. We were going to do the Space and Guild branch. It might be a little late in the game, honestly. I should have done it a lot earlier, but it is what it is. So our evil sci-fi robot army is going to cleave through these. We're doing okay financially. And let's go ahead and start on this. So, okay. I feel like I need one more machine. So let's take the machine off the Landsrad. And then we're going to put him here to maximize our knowledge that we get. Or our, uh, excuse me, our, our whatever. I think I need to save up more intel. I don't know how much they cost now. It costs 200, yeah. So we need to be able to have like a couple of those on standby. So let's wait and build up our, uh, our resources here. Yeah, I feel like assassination might be like meta for these guys. I don't really know. So the siege is friendly now. Ooh, that's really good, actually. Okay, so we'll take you off Landsrad. We don't give a shit about the Landsrad. And we're going to put you in um, in the siege. And then that will give us 20% cheaper spying missions. And it's and they're faster to prep, too. That's really good. That's really nice. Yeah, see, it, it reduced the cost on the uh, on the mission here. New challenge awaits. So how much Landsrad do I get? I'm going to get plus 20 here. Harkonnens are right up on my shit. And, um, okay. So, now I think we can go ahead and launch... Let's go ahead and make you, and then we can go ahead and launch this. Alright. So, I don't know how long that takes. Oh, only two days. Okay, it's not too long. So, we got one here, one here, one over here, and one back there. So, we got four of the cells on them, which is pretty rad. Wish I could join, but I'm training away from home. Launch a nuke for me. I, maybe next game. I'm not... This faction... Okay, governorship is for the Fremen. Uh, so he's going to win governorship here? <laughs> uh, okay, lads. Uh, I guess we... I guess we kill Fremen? So he's going for a governor rush. Yeah, I, I thought Davok would be keeping him honest, but um, we're going to try and deny that. So we have 300... 300 and no so the minor house is my i'm just gonna put my votes in man can we actually kill the fremen though because getting the two assassins would be really nice too we might just lose to the fremen governorship here i'm surprised but yeah now we're gonna go waddle across all right so we got supply drops and where's his main base oh he's through the <laughs> the sand people couldn't be trusted. All right, we have three assassins. So we're ready for the assassination when it does come. Uh, we have supply drops. So we're going to have to waddle like pretty far through here. Yeah, I can go through Davok's base. And um, where's the Fremen head HQ? I don't even know where it is. Jesus Christ. Uh, all right, so we're, we're going. Hopefully we don't run out of supplies. Most of our army is drones. It is my June. <laughs> my Iraqis. He kind of kind of screwed me up a little bit because I was about to do that assassination, but now we got to deal with this shit. We do have loss of rights. 
Uh, how do we deal with this? My brain. I'm talking to my boy here. Trying to see what's cracking. I think I just take this region as a forward operating base. All right, so let's go military. Yeah, military tech. Is Are we just going to vote them down in the next wing? We either kill him or vote up the charter to get him to vote it down next time. I can fix anything. Okay. Uh, going to kill him. And pray we can outmuscle his influence and come. We'll see. All right. Uh... We, who's the Harkonnen player? Harkonnen player is Wirtaz, okay. We need to kill him. I'm trying to rally the troops and let's fly over here and see where his main base is. I have no, actually no idea. Apparently Fremen are like super buggy and OP in this one. So uh, I got my work cut out for me here. Manpower production, we don't really care about. Um, let's go ahead and get the military health. It's not bad. Ready, my lord. And I'm doing my part, man, I'm over here. You know, I'm, I'm doing my part. Okay, so the assassination on the Harkonnen is... The, <laughs> the timing of that is pretty unfortunate. <laughs> oh no, I, I didn't know it would automatically go off. I don't think he's detected it yet either. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's going to backfire. It's okay, it's worth it. I wanted to just test out this faction's assassination tools. Oh, that was the main thing. All right. So we need to get this to make sure that we can get the ambient connection so our troops are tethered sure, and enemy lands. Um, and yeah, Davok, I don't know what he's doing. Where is this main base, by the way? Engines on. We're moving. Harkonnens are hopefully coming, but they're also getting assassinated. So it's, it's truly, truly an evil scheme. All right, so the main base is building out. Uh, he has not detected it yet. <laughs> oh God, okay, there's Siege Tabor. So we're gonna go in here and just see what we can do. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Probably gonna get worm called is what's gonna happen to me. So here we go, and then let's get you in control group two. Everyone else in one. And then you in two. Oh, that's so laggy. Ugh. Okay, so worm call, no surprises. So we're gonna have to go through his main base. Hopefully somebody else is gonna come. Let's go ahead and continue the assassination of the Harkonnens, just cause it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, we might regret that. All right, let's go through the deep desert. We can actually just do that. It's fine. And then we can do the uh, administrative burden on them also. My brain Although, actually cancel that shit. No. Ready, my lord. Okay, so supply drop. I can fix and then we just go and take this base here. I'm going to lose this army, but we need to put some pressure on him. I feel like I should cancel the assassination on the Baron. Because it's, it's really, really haggard. 68%. Yeah. So we're waddling to the main base. I don't know where Deobok is. Hopefully he's nearby. So here they come. Okay, so we made it through the deep desert. Wait, I'm at peace with these guys? Oh, they just attacked me. Oh, they just they just did the traitor, I think. Nice. Scavenger team, ambient connection. And let's do the repair circle. So we have the repair circle. The Techno Union is going. He's trying to kill my drones. Maybe he's going to snipe my hero. I'm not sure. We're like deep in his lands though, right? This is like tough. This is like really, really difficult. Okay. So we got the assassination continuing. We are doing some work against his army. It's not going badly. Okay. We've almost killed his hero. But my hero's going to die too. I don't know if I can get away from this. Ugh. Okay. I got the hero and did some big damage. Yeah. Fremen are much stronger now, by the way. So let's just target the beat-up units. Uh, I did good damage. Yeah, you're always going to kind of lose when you extend into enemy territory. You're going to pay the troll toll. Um, it's 30 to get you. Let's get some railguns back. All right, not bad. That wasn't terrible. Not terrible. So now we need the follow-up to happen. The Baron has detected the assassination. And we're going to continue it. Um, we might be able to outmuscle him politically. Let's actually switch a couple of our... Uh, hmm. Yeah, our agents have been captured. We have our Benny Gesserit here. It's always a little bit risky to do that. I don't know how we stop, the, stop this, though. I could definitely kill the Baron with an assassination. I'm here. 
I definitely could because I got those free assassins. Daybok is nearby, but 14 days left is just not going to fly. We, we need the Baron's help, so I think I have to cancel this. As funny as that is, uh, gonna cancel that Baron. Yeah, we got to cancel it because with him, uh, we need the Baron. Okay. So as far as this goes, we're looking fine. Let's get the machines out. No, the machines need to go here. And then we can get the machines out and out. And we can go back to information and go on Landsrad and Landsrad. That'll give us a lot of influence. So now you can see we're up to eight influence. Um, and let's go ahead and get some of these and some fighting mechs. And yeah, he was able to use my airfields, which is pretty cool. So we should obfuscate the valuable trinkets, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we kill him. I think he honestly just wins. The Baron is an easy target to get, for sure. Okay, so loss of rights, there's no way we get this, right? Oh man, I should have just kept killing the Baron. I don't think I didn't think we would have any success there. Just the prank, bro, yeah. So we gotta vote loss of rights. And um, and then, I, then I'm gonna have to rebuild to try the assassination again. So that was stupid. But here's the thing, if, if the Fremen somehow... Yeah, so we support loss of rights. The Fremen are gonna get banished on the governorship. There's no way, so we all support that. But also, guys, if I didn't stop the assassination on the Baron, there's a chance that he might have um, not worked with us to vote that down. So I under... There's merit to both sides, for sure. All right, let's get you here. And let's put the machines in the Spacing Guild. No, we don't really need them there. So let's go back to the Intel party, which I think was better. What the hell's going on here? I go to sleep, nice game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with him. I have this like random ass territory over here now. I don't think there's any way to really benefit from it. Oh, we did finish our Spacing Guild branch a long time ago. Pretty sure it was up here somewhere. We'll have to find that. All right, so the army is coming together. Let's get some resonance drones. What is that? I go to sleep. Nice game, though. Boo, dude. Okay. Okay, guys, let's finish off Fremen so AI doesn't cheat. So the Fremen player left. That's the problem with having pugs sometimes is people just leave when they don't get their way. All right, let's do that. Then let's do this. Switch those machines around, and we'll slap another one of them right here. Yeah. So we're going to go and actually take down the Fremen at this point. Let's grab this. And I need to develop all my regions, too. They're not fully developed. Okay. So did we never get the Space and Guild branch? I could have sworn we built it, but I guess not. Could have sworn we had that. Did one of my regions get taken? Oh, this region did, I think. Oh, okay. That's what it was. Okay. So while I was like really hyper-focused on those other things, the uh, AI came and took my region. All right, that's what it is. So we need to obfuscate the technology now. So let's go to this. My brain and I know, boo indeed. Boo this man. No, who knows? Maybe it was really late for him. Whatever, you know. Uh, all right, let's try that again. And um, then we can go ahead and there was something else I wanted to do. Can this region be taken anytime soon? Four days. Okay, it's still a ways. Let's just pillage for now. So this is going to be interesting. Now we can go to the tech and we can obfuscate the valuable trinkets. So that is blocked. So Carino is not going to be able to do valuable trinkets now, which is really nice. I was wondering what happened to my space and guild branch. I was like, what the hell? What is this? Okay, the Fremen are going to still be a variable for sure. I have a decent little army back. Let's get some more fighting mechs and um, we can get like some suboids. And a Gola of our character is gonna cost a lot of lands rad, so that's always a little bit dodgy. Round two, fight. Where are the <laughs> I I'm actually really starting to like this faction though. The assassination seems really easy with them. It seems very, very strong, so I think that's incredibly cool. And, um, yeah, we can go here and chill. All right, so that's underway. It does cost a bit of upkeep to keep that going, but this faction can get insane intel, which is really nice. We'll get a military base here, too. And um, aside from that, we can get one more here. Let's slap the base on that. 
And then, um, yeah, I need a little bit more lands Chad standing. I'm still peaceful with Carino. The Chonkonen is still here. And what is it at now? It's at 75%? Yes. All right, so we want to chill for a moment here. So siege incentives. Let's go ahead and get the parts production and all those goodies. There's no valuable trinkets allowed, so Carino is not going to be able to do that. I suspect he might try and assassinate me, which would be pretty good. The Fremen AI, though, I don't know. Maybe it's still going to be a thorn in his side. We'll see. I don't think this one can be connected, sadly, so that's not going to happen. Um, we do have an airfield down here, so we can go grab this now. If anyone gets an airfield, no, Fremen, I'll fly and help him siege. Uh, I have one nearby. All right, so this assassin, let's get him rolling in there. Let's come down and grab this base. Um, and yeah, we just kind of keep rolling with that man. We don't want to resurrect our hero quite yet. Not at this point. Um, let's get some suboids just to fill the ranks of chaff. And then we can go ahead and get a fight. We have two fight engineers, so the passive healing we have in our army is pretty good. I'm actually very pleased with how well our army did against the Fremen in their own land. Like, right under their base. That felt good. Next building in the asphalt is free. We're already built out there, so that's too bad. Okay, Harkonnens are pretty up on hedge, so definitely assassinating them is going to be the good a good call. Um, let's build another one. Let's kind of keep that going, and we can go ahead and get this. That'll give us our space and guild branch back, which is incredibly useful. Uh, Carino cannot use their 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 double <laughs> hedge thing, so that's really interesting that we can completely shut that down. I'm on the clock. Okay, so let's keep that up. I'll stay hidden. Is it detected yet? It's undetected still. That's outstanding. Our water here kind of sucks. I feel like I'm learning this faction, like slowly but surely. It has been detected, so now he knows. The Baron, the Baron must know. This faction can assassinate really efficiently. All right, let's get the nodal network going, and we just head back up here and get some listening posts and whatnot and go from there. Yeah, the Fremen are still just trolling. I don't know. They're probably chomming, chom cheating. That's what they usually do. Yeah, he's already at 12%. The dreaded chom cheating. Uh, are all our bases fully developed? Not quite. We do have a little bit of Plascrete, so we should be able to do this. All right, so do we want to get a tiny bit more manpower? Might not be a bad idea. Although Spice Silo here is always, always going to be good. And uh, the Space and Guild branch was down here. I guess I, the game could go long, so I might as well play for it. Where are the drones? How are our militia doing? Are they hanging in there? They are. The heavies are fighting pretty well. My brain at your service. And um, do we have, not have enough? We don't have enough at the moment, but we will soon. So this assassination is incredibly haggard. Um, we have the machines on there, which are going to give us a lot. Is there any other way I can get intel? Well, not, not super efficiently, because we might just run out of steam on the assassin thing. All right, let's go over here. Oh, we have intel right here. Nice. That might save that. That might save that. All right, so that's on its way down. Um, currently, the fuel cells are all being used. Lance Chad's coming up soon. Davok might be switching into politics. Their double building got nerfed. Oh, that's good. Well, even still, it's probably still one of their main win cons, right? So. Oh, I forgot to upgrade my Spice Harvesters, by the way. That's really haggard. Um, Diplomatic Congress would be good for us. But how much do we have? 397? I mean, can I actually win this? Water Sellers Union? Oh, I'm not eligible. That's right. So we'll just get Diplo Congress, which is going to make uh, everybody our friend. And then we can just continue the dreaded assassination. Although, uh, let's maybe try and get this. I don't really care about Diplo Congress too much. Yeah, that's fine. Because we already have non-aggression with it. That's all right. All right, so down here, we need to get some water next. Once we get the Space and Guild branch, those guys have been cleared out, and the assassins are going to come here. He's looking for the cells, but it seems like he's struggling with a lot. There's a Cerberus there. He's searching it. Oh, yeah, so we are actually at peace with the Baron at the moment, technically. Do we have an airfield up here? I think we do. It's pretty crazy that we can get four cells on him. Yeah, he's looking now. It's getting a little bit dodgy, though, for sure. Let's get a little bit of lands chad going, and um, that's still on its way. We could pillage this siege, the one that's nearby. The patents are all doing their thing. Okay. Here and here. So he is going to get one of our cells. It's getting danger close, though, for sure. It's getting danger close. Uh, I think we still have cells down here, do we? 
He might have removed that one. I think there's still some like lurking in the shadows. Yeah, we got that one back there. So if we wanted to get real cheeky, we could. Yes. So we're going to grab that. That will get it very close. I don't think it's quite going to seal the deal, but it'll it'll do well. Yeah, we're losing we're losing intel now. So I think the assassination on the chonk is going to fail. We had him the first time dead to rights, but you know, we screwed up this time. All right, so 96% though. That's pretty fat. And then um, is there any way we can get another assassin in? Uh, I'm not going to trade with the AI because that's cheating. And let's see if we can get some intel here. Worth my time. Let's offer a little bit of this. See if he'll give it up. And then we'll offer... Not all our money. Let's offer like, I don't know, like 500 or something or 1,000. All right. <laughs> it's like the most obvious shit, you know? Just evil. All right. Ready, my lord. Damn, yeah, the siege down there is strolling. Is he gonna is he gonna do it? Oh, he did it. <laughs> we can get our gola back too. So now we can get our hero going. I can fix anything. All right, so he's checked that. <laughs> he said that better be for murdering the Baron and not me. Oh, it is, my sweet summer prince. It is. If I get one more assassin on him, he's basically dead. <laughs> that's really funny isn't it that's so funny holy shit now there's one ai unfortunately because the fremen player went for governor and he lost and he just left so he, he failed to get governor is essentially what we're saying yeah Taking position. okay we need to be like very cognizant of that let's clear that out he's at 55 we're like very close to getting him and uh, the Baron could pay the troll toll now, for sure. Assassinating Carino isn't really going to be on the table. That's just too difficult. Because he's all prepared for it and shit. The Baron wasn't quite prepared, you know? Yeah, he doesn't know about this one back here. That infiltration cell is pretty balls deep in his lands. I'm surprised he hasn't attacked me yet, actually. It seems like the Baron has constantly been suffering in his lands. Like, there's been a lot of drama with him. We're getting really, really close, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so let's do this. Lap a missile turret down here, too. And then we need to get water probably for the last thing. And for the Space and Guild branch, let's just give some influence, I guess. And try and get the ship parts. Maybe before the game's over, we can get it. The Fremen, the cheating Fremen are going to need to be dealt with. Um, we do have the supply drop here. I don't know if we're going to need it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a mothership coming. Uh, oh, it's the Overlord. Uh, go, my gremlin. If I get there, that's going to be so juicy. That's going to be so juicy. I think he's going to make it too, and that'll probably be enough to get him. Uh, okay, so no trading with the Fremen AI. To me, that's cheating. Uh, I don't know what the other players are going to do. Did we get him? Oh, we got it. He's dead. All right. <laughs> yes, the sneaky sneaky. So then we can finally take all our damn agents off intel. Let's get rid, rid of all this shit. And, um, yeah, no. That's so cheesy. I could just take like 3k from them right now. All right, so he's probably toast. I don't think there's any way out of that. Uh, forgot to power up the harvesters. Yeah, there's a lot going on between assassinations and stuff, but that's going to help our spicy co ever so slightly. And um, down there, that's looking good. Got a little bit of influence being traded. And um, now it's like, yeah, we, we just have, let's get our drones and have them go collect shit out in the desert. And um, yeah, so that's going to be the end of the chonker. He's probably going to go down here in a second. <laughs> he's, he's like, that better be for assassinating the Baron, not me. I'm like, yeah, it's good. Oh, I could get more intel by canceling research. That's right. And then my knowledge turns into intel. So that assassination could have been way easier. Oh, the Baron's gone. We got him, baby. Still got it. All right. GG. GG, Baron. All right. Still freaking got it. Let's go. Okay. So down here, let's just get a little H2O. He said evil, I know. My brain at your service. So now the Fremen AI is here. It's mainly Davok and I who are going to be battling it out, probably. But we got to wait a couple days for all these free territories to open up. Uh, I don't have the mothership quite yet, but we need to switch all our agents now. So they should be uh, off all these. So we're not going to really play that. So let's get you on Space and Guild, and let's get you here on the Lands Chad. And then we just kind of put you, Benny Jesuit, here. 
And um, man, we're kind of out of space. We don't have any like slots to work with here. Oh, that's right. Counterintelligence exists. Duh. Okay. So counterintel. That's where the Benny Gesserit should go. So let's get her out of here. And then we put you on. Okay. This new layout's a little bit confusing to me, but I'm figuring it out slowly but surely. And we can get you on Space and Guild. We don't really care about Space and Guild, honestly. Yeah, Space and Guild's whatever. Okay. So we're going to go like hard in the paint on counterintel here, because I suspect Davox is going to be scheming to, to take me down. You should trade Karino <laughs> Intel again just to see what he says. That would be really funny. Our eco sucks, though. He's probably going to go for Chum. Yeah, he's already at 18%. Him and the Fremen are going to battle it out on the Chum. I'm not looking to battle him, though. I'm looking to just probably go for Hedge at this point. Yeah, see how that goes. All right, so controlled markets. I mean, he's just going to vote me down, right? I'm at 270. Oh, I can actually vote him down. Um, so let's just put this on Carino. I'm going to put this on old Carino. I think I have more votes than them, so yeah, should be fine. My lord. Ready for instruction. Our hero is back. My brain at your let's go take this Renegade base down. That's going to give us a ton of ship parts. And um, now we can go ahead. He's going to have the EMP bomb. Let's get the hidden back door ready. Maybe is good. And now we got this. All right. So let's get the defensive upgrades. Because we're definitely going to be on the defense here. New challenge awaits. All right. So let's do that. And then you come in, lady. And just do the big AOE heal. So that should heal all our mechs. Or at least a fair portion of them. All right. So we're going to set up the healing station. Uh, yeah, and I suspect we're just going to be both expanding and kind of doing our thing. So my whole army's getting healed pretty good right now. I'm going to get enough for my big ship, hopefully. The ship is awesome. It's really, really nice. I think that gives us a fair amount. We're going to have to see how much we actually get here. Uh, ship parts are on the way. Yes, good. He's probably going to go for a Chum victory. All right, so now we can build the mothership. The, uh, the folder relay, that one's insane. It, it lets you teleport anywhere on the battlefield. It's pretty bonkers. All right, let's get some railgun drones. And this should be takeable soon. Let's take this um, influence once we are ready. And keep expanding. Don't touch my drones, yeah. Yeah, uh, her drones are uh, they're doing good. They are doing all right. We're just going to go grab all those freebies. Oh, Carino killed the, killed the Fremen. Okay. Damn. And now we grab this. So it's just going to be us battling it out against Carino, which I have no idea how that's going to go, to be honest. I'm pretty sauced out on counter intel, though, which is, I think, nice. And we just grab some of these special regions, and both of us are just going to be power expanding, basically. I need to make sure that I'm getting the Arrakis, yeah, Outpost Logistics. So let's go ahead and do that so I can get more not influence. I think that's going to be important. Yeah, we cancel that. All right, let's take that. And then while that is done, we can then take this. And is there any more special regions? There is. There's one up there, too, at 251. We haven't been attacked yet, although down here we're about to get trolled, which is super annoying. Okay, let's take the mothership down there. Oh, with the missile turret, we might be fine, actually. Okay, he's getting... Oh, he's got an Imperial base right next to mine. Wow, look at that. Uh, all right, let's head back. He's coming for it, man. Look at this. The dreaded main base drop. That's pretty cool, isn't it? How much damage is he actually going to do here? Let's find out. I've got my whole army nearby, so... Main base battle! <laughs> Alright, let's get the scavenger teams ready. And uh, we need to get our hero here. And we go ahead and drop the AoE heals. He's sieging my base pretty good, but I feel like my army's winning. I'm, I can't really tell. Let's get rail drones and fighting mechs. Oh, yeah, we're giving his army the dirty, aren't we? And from here, we might be able to just get his main base. I do have that fat passive healing on all my drones here. Uh, we got Wensica right here, so let's take her out if we can. Get into the base. All right, so now we just take down the siege drones. Oh, man, that was a pretty good fight. That was a really good fight for us. And also, his guys can't get me here. So check this out. Then we just do the repair station, and our whole army is just going to get super jacked. Man, that was a that was a good fight for us, huh? So now we just kill his main base. Yep, take that down. 
Did not go super well for him, but he's at 44% chome, so he might just win on that, actually, which is pretty epic. Kudos. So it's basically chome versus, uh, you know, versus the other good stuff. I could unobfuscate now and also get it on the special regions. Uh, I'm nowhere near as rich as he is, so I can't buy all that. Oh, let's get our folder relay back. Taking us 10 years to kill his damn base here. Where are the drones? All right, so the drones are still going. The healing is underway. Um, and we could expand, yeah, I guess. Well, our army is pretty expensive to make, right? Takes a long time to kill this main base, man. Do we have enough hedge to keep expanding outwards? Yeah, I think we do. So I, I think trying to kill his main base, we already thwarted his army. So let's take our big mothership because we can always uh, teleport back. He's at 44% chum, which is pretty bonkers. Space and guilds, and we have a couple machines sitting idle. So let's just get them slapped here. So at least we get a little bit of that and head up this way. I could unobfuscate that. How many special regions am I rocking? A couple, actually. I think, can I unobfuscate that? Can I? No, I can't. Okay, so it doesn't let me like undo it once I do it. All right, so this is actually a reasonably good base. It's got a it's got a couple nice things set up here, and our, our two main bases can just duke it out and have a little bit of a cockfight. He's at 44% chum, though. Hey, I really thought I had all this infiltration cells. Got too distracted. Yeah, Pierre, you played great, dude. The thing is um, with Vernius is they can get f more than... They can get like five or six infiltration cells. It's a, it's a whole different beast. Yeah, so we're just going to keep expanding up and just grabbing the special regions when we can. 270 on that one, okay. So he's back for round 10. We can always teleport back to the main base. His Imperial base here is a little bit beat up, but our space-time folding ship is where? Oh, why was it over there doing nothing? God, that's annoying. All right, so we take that, and um, here we're at, what, 48 knowledge? He's coming to party. Let's come down here. He's at 45% chum, so he's definitely not like the chum cackler. Oh, we didn't have any freaking uh, goodies there. Okay, that's a problem. Well, nonetheless, let's go ahead and get this. And then we can deploy, deploy or delete the old chonk buildings. Yeah, he's just killing some random ass buildings. It's whatever. I don't care. All right. So, yeah, he didn't even kill anything. He's just getting shot by the main base. So I need to save up some uh, authority anyways. All right. Looking fine. And he's got Kronos in. We could definitely smash his army again, I suspect. But his chome is climbing and uh, certainly faster than my hedge. All right, let's get knowledge. Knowledge is just great for us because it augments like all of our stats. So if I take down his main base here, what does that do? Ooh, the elected faction loses 20% of their chome shares. He's lucky I don't have votes for that. <laughs> oh wait, do I have, oh, I do have more votes than him. 226 against 201. Ooh, and they can't buy chome shares. That's pretty much GG if I get this. He's got to have more votes than me, right? The elected faction, okay. Oh! He loses his chome shares and he can't buy chome shares. Man, okay, so we just wrecked him pretty good there. So now we can just take our time. There's no like a threat anymore. Sure, my lord. So we both have main base support. So let's go down and just torch his army. Force him into the desert if he wants to. All right. So those guys are gonna get blasted, and yeah, we just keep going. We need to get our heals. Uh, scavenger teams here is gonna be money, and let's go here and drop the AOE heals on our drones. Let's get some fighting mechs, some rail guns, all that good stuff, and uh, we just keep keep crumping through them. All right, so we killed his entire army again, which is great. Yeah, let's get you and you. And we can start working on the main base again. We do have a missile turret pounding away and a military base here, so that's gonna take a little bit of time for us to wear down. Uh, can we get this? Yeah, those repairs we're getting on our drones there are pretty sweet. And the fact that he can't buy chome shares now is, is very good. We're going to build some suboids just to get cheap chaff. Get you guys back, you guys back. Whoa, my hero got eaten by a worm. Are you serious? I didn't think the worms could go in the main base region of the Imperial. Ugh, well, we can just revive her. It's not a huge deal. It's still annoying as hell. All right, so we'll kill this Imperial base. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we didn't have militia on call down there. That's stupid. We might have screwed the pooch on that, so I might have to go down there, actually. We'll send the uh, the trash units down there in due time. Oh, he's going for my main my ship. Shit, I need to get that thing out of there. If I lose that, that really sucks. That sucks bad. Uh, let's get siege incentives. You know, it might matter. The ship is running. It's at 19 HP. 
And we do lose it. That's really shitty. That's really shitty. I don't know if we can kill his main base, his, his ship, that is. I don't have the... Do I have any fight engineers here? I do not. So we need to get some fight engineers for the healing. All right. Um, we did hold the bottom, which is great. It's the the ship is so small. It's easy to like lose track of it. Destination dude, the stupid shy halud worms have been owning me like the entire game, dude. All right, so let's get you guys all partied, and um, we can send a small squad up here. It has a couple heavies. All right, so let's get you guys, and then we can get you and you and you. So we're gonna send a small force to go grab that top area. I don't know what other like tricks you would have. Probably not too many. We did obfuscate the one tech that might be able to really help us, but you know, it was against Karino, I think that was the right play. Let's get a spy silo up there. All right. Uh, that's looking good. Um, we can start on the ship parts again, because although the, the influence is what kind of did it for us, we got our we have a legit fight engineer now. Let's get some rail guns and siege incentives will finish. We have 50 knowledge at the moment, which is pretty bonkers. So we're going to do this, and we have all these things to collect. So freebies, freebies, and he got owned pretty hard by that chum portfolio. But that's that does happen quite often. It's it's certainly not an uncommon sighting. Um, why can we not do the defense breaches? Okay, so we just are a little bit poor at the moment. Yeah, because rebuilding our armies is, is expensive, and we're not rich. That's the problem. That's the problem, right? Uh, we can send some spice there if we want to. We we're paying our taxes, which is good. I think at this point we just do this. I can fix Let's get you to collect and collect. We'll, we'll get the defense breaches and then we'll hit the main base again. But if we get this, it's going to put us even closer to winning. Uh, Alright, so a little bit of H2O here. Probably not going to be super helpful. Um, we can get a missile turret just to prevent backdooring from renegade AI, I suppose. Alright, so let's get the defense breaches now. Can we get it? Uh, didn't we just legit get 500 gold from that? Oh, we didn't resolve it. Okay. And now let's get defense breaches. Great. So these boys are going to get this base up here. He's got his nice main base in front of me. He's expanding out too. He's obviously grabbing whatever he can. This region out here is very vulnerable. He could just go out there and get that like willy-nilly. No problem. All right. So let's get a little bit of a defense there. And this region... God damn, dude. This like, base up here. These are like... What are these? Like steroid militia? Okay, we're at 22. I don't think he's going to assassinate. I think that would be a little bit haggard. We're going to get our character back. It does cost 30 lands right every time that happens. I like the changes a lot. I think it's really fun. Okay, so Karino's at our front door. And um, let's get another fight engineer in case our character just gets eaten by a freaking worm or some shit. And grab that. All right, that's going to be excellent. So that will give us that. And then we have 128. We need to look for any like freebies we have laying around. Not too many. Not too many. And the ship parts, I don't think it's going to happen in this game. So we're going to be shipless, unfortunately. Okay, let's take the free influence. And um, aside from this, we could do the one that makes his stuff go haywire. It's pretty funny that we obfuscated the, the technology. He's got a big army of Sardaukar coming. Uh, are we fully geared out on all these? Here we are. Great. All right. So we can't connect this, but let's just get you. So it doesn't hurt. I'll get a couple heavy so we don't lose it to random militia. I'm so sad I lost my mothership, by the way. That was so stupid. I like how the main bases also don't shoot at one another. It's pretty funny. So he's coming in, but the main base will be able to defend itself, I'm hoping. Oh, we can actually just run straight through the desert with these. So we're at 148. Let's resolve that. Um, the next region we would take would for sure be this one at 206. And that would connect. And, you know, we threaten his main base. Because if Karino loses their main base, it, it hurts them pretty bad. Oh, we can actually legit just shoot it from our hill here. So that's pretty nasty. Um, let's get our character. And we can go ahead and do the heals here. The boys are doing it. We're going to get back. Let him attack into us. Oh, man. How, how is he doing so much damage to the siege drones? I think it's the siege drones. So we need to just pull it to the backside of the base because we're getting whooped here. All right. A good place for the plan. And let's do that. And I think he might be able to break through here, guys. He's doing pretty good. Although my main base is hopefully going to hang in there. We do have some reinforcements coming from over the hill. Going to go hero sniping. So we need to flee with the hero. Yeah, the it's the siege drones that are really, really frightening with Karina. 
Okay, so what can I possibly do here that would help? Loss of rights doesn't do anything. Labor rights would... I assume he's pretty rich. Let's see. Yeah, 22k. He was clearly chumming this game. That was his game plan. Siege incentives will help a lot. When that's finished, we're going to be able to push his main base down. Uh, we're going to... Yeah, we want the chum buying price to be really high. Oh, he has water sellers and, and the judge of the council. So let's actually just do loss of rights. Because I don't think he can chum anymore. It's hard to tell because they're gray, right? They like blend in here. All right, so loss of rights has gone down. So he's going to lose both of those uh, stations he had. I'll follow your commands. Drones will he's at 40% chum again, though. Maybe maybe I should have done that one. Who knows? Who knows what the right call was, but... Yeah, his army's getting worked on a little bit. We probably want to get like a missile turret back here or something. I'll follow your commands. Let's flee. Don't want to get our character sniped. Throw down a missile turret here. So he's almost out of supplies. Oh, he didn't come with supplies. Uh-oh, buddy. You're going to lose a lot of units here. Potentially. So he loses some Sardaukar. Yeah, there's one Sardaukar down. And the other one's going to pay the troll toll here soon. You know, we actually have a tech against those uh, those other guys. The hidden back door thing. So we can try that soon. Uh, we are pretty damn poor. We can't really afford much. Except Subway Soldiers, which sucks. So this is... I can see that being an issue with this faction, right? You, like, run out of money and you're just like... I, I can actually hidden back door those. So we need to go to factions and um, get infiltration cells going. So we can get higher level and I can get more intel here. Uh, let's grab this money. Oh, hello. Yeah, it sucks. I just lost fight engineer for nothing. Yeah, he might win this. He might win this, actually. Oh, and he just shot up. He had enough money. Okay, so he's for sure going to win. He had more enough banks. And plus, the other players are gone, so the chum is uncontested. Yeah, GG ball played, dude. Karino still got it. That was a really good match. The fact that we couldn't get passive hedge was tough. But I need to get the hidden back door is what I need. Maybe I'll try and trade him for some uh, for some resources here. Yeah, the Fremen the Fremen are are broken right now. It's just like a, it's just a bit of a bug. It's not the end of the world, but like you saw, they lost this game. But if if someone who really really knew how to use their strengths were doing it, yeah, Fremen would be busted. All right, so we're shooting away. We're trying, but we're probably toast. GG probs. The siege drones. See, you probably countered the siege rounds with this, but I'm just too, I'm too, the assassinations cost me too much. And I can't really get too much intel going here. It was, GG well played. Really fun match, dude. GG no re, I know. I know. Yeah, see, if I knew, if I knew this faction better, I think we could have done the fine there. If I had just saved up for the backdoor thing, it makes all of his siege drones uh, attack each other. Stupid that I missed that. GG to him though. It was a shame the Fremen left. The Fremen kind of, they almost gave me the game. You know, because when the Fremen were there, Davok had to deal with them, and I didn't. So that was kind of cheesy. He probably deserved to win that game, Davok did. GG, well played. GG. Why did we loss of rights instead of Chome? That's true, yeah. I should have... I mean, I lost either way because he killed my main base. But he had two offices. He was getting money from water sellers. And also, uh, yeah, we're going to get Pwn Dog in here. It's time. All right, let me check with him. Where are you at? All right. I man, I I really like Vernius, dude. They're really fun. GG, man, that was a lot of fun. I I uh, Daybok, I was just telling chat that I I totally forgot that you can rampage enemy machines with with this faction. So like the siege drones, you could rampage them and they would just start shooting uh, your stuff instead of mine. That's really powerful. Yeah, and I could have stopped researching. Oh, and it would have given me intel for the backdoor operation. Oh, there's so much I'm missing with this faction. Man, yeah, you're right. I screwed that up. Yeah, so we had a lot of counterplay there, but we just didn't we didn't execute. So what he's saying is with my agent, I could have stopped researching and it would have given me 50 bonus intel and then I could have used that 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 agent there. Yeah. We're getting the hang of it though. Yeah, we're getting the hang of it. We're learning. So what do you guys want to see for the next game? Let me put it to a vote real quick. So next game. Or Conan or... Uh, Vernius. I'm probably down to play Harkonnen or Vernius right now. Those are the two I'm really interested in. All right. Let me know which one you guys want to see for the next game. I'm down to do either. We're getting the hang of them, though. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. And... Um, I'm going to make a private lobby this time. 
And uh, if you guys are in the Discord, I'm going to send the invite out there. I'm just doing this so I can get my buddy Pone in. He was wanting to play. So I'm going to do this. All right. A lot of cool tech with Vernius. A lot of cool tech. So there you go. Okay, so Pone Dog should have that. And then he's in. You guys want the Chonk Conans? Okay, we're going to play the Chonk. I don't know what agents I'm going to pick yet, but we'll figure that out in a second. Okay, and then the, the invite's going to go out on Discord right now for the other two spots. All right. Two spots for stream game. All right, all right. Good times, man. Good times. Okay, so we should have two more players jumping in in a second. We got Shoop and Rice and Beans. Uh... Yeah, go for it. I have no idea. Just don't abuse the demo troops, I think. Yeah, I think it's the demo troops that are the big problem. Yeah. No, we're gonna be we're gonna be scheming against one another. And it, it's I don't wanna be in voice chat with just him if there's two other players too. Well, bring some just not mass. I think it's the demo troops that are the problem, but yeah, we'll, we'll find out. So uh, we're going to go with the new guy, Kron. So yeah, that's oppression for killing villagers. And then uh, units in a region with an active Harkon in operation gain armor and faster recruit. That sounds more my style. Fade could be good for, yeah, obviously political. And this is for the agent actions. All right, we're going to do Uman, Kudu, and uh, these two new... We're going to do the two new agents. If you play third, I can hop in. Sounds good. The biggest chunk is Cartman. <laughs> yeah, Eric Cartman of Dune. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it Fidekin who are bugs? Hold on. Hold on. Let me find out what is bugged. So what is uh what is the problem with them? Like what is the I haven't played Fremen yet, but everyone I've talked to have said they they're incredibly busted. Clearly we dealt with them okay last game, but maybe that gentleman didn't know what was being abused. Rice and beans needs to pick a little something something here. Uh, people that I invite from skirmishers are the problem. Okay, it's skirmishers. So just bring a few, not mass. All right, uh, rice, you ready? Here we go, man. Just picked this game up after watching yesterday. Surprised there isn't more noise around this one. There's a bit of noise. It's very active. Our Discord has a really good community where we all play. We got a lot of good people in there and constantly matches going almost every day. Rice is going to go smugglers. Good luck. Have fun. You too. And uh, let's see how this plays. I'm, I'm excited to see how Space Cartman does. Not everybody's ready. Okay, who's not ready here? I want to see the Harkonnen heroes. That's what I'm really interested in. Fe uh, feds are not bugged. They're just super strong. Got it. Okay, here we go, man. So Prof Pone on Ekaz, my uh, Shoop on Fremen, Rice and Beans on the Smugglers, myself on the Harkonnens, with their two new counselors. So that should be fun. So I, I know how to play Harkonnens. I know there's been some changes and I don't know what their heroes do. Um, probably gonna go Robin. I think I think that would be fun, flavor-wise. The player base had a big boost from the, yeah, the movies, definitely. Well, people are looking for Dune games to play now and after seeing the movies. Oh, Harkonnen at 69%. All right. Here it is, baby. Yeah, I, I think I might become a Vernius main. I really like how easy it is to assassinate with them. And secondly, I, I think that um, there's a lot of techs that are, that, you know, are easy to not remember, but that can be very good. All right. Good luck. Have fun. Let's see who's in here. We are on the bottom of the map, but kind of central too, which is a little bit dodgy. So, Pink Leader reporting in. So we just need the smugglers. All right, we're good. I really love the movie. Let's it was great. I wasn't disappointed with the changes. I thought it was fine because, you know, like, seeing the, you know, the sister as, like, a two-year-old that can speak, I think would have been kind of haggard, like, on, on movie. So I, I was actually happy with... There were some changes I, I maybe... Yeah, overall, I, I, they didn't bother me, the changes. They didn't bother me. Like, there's things I would have liked to have seen. I, 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 w I wish they had kept Thufir in. I think that would have been fun to see, like, his whole kind of interaction with the Baron. And, um, but yeah, aside from that, like, it was nothing too bad. 
And like the fact that they cut Hasimir Fenring out, like I didn't really like, you know, that character in the books was like not the most interesting to me, so I wasn't like super bummed about that. They still had his wife there, which was really the epicenter of it anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, and baby Leto, yeah. They they did they did cut that out too. I didn't really mind that, honestly. Alright, so we see our layout. Yeah, we got Plaskri and Spice. So those are like two of the most important things. Alright. So we'll grab that. And uh, first thing with Harkonnen is you usually want to just go pillage spamming. We're going to be a Chum Overlord though. That's how you play the Chonk. That's his best play. So I like to go for Instill Fear. This one's really good because when it makes it so you can beat down villages and you don't take the penalty for annexing them later. So that's very good. But going quick red tree for Harkonnen is also very good because manpower equates to money for you uh, in some ways. So we got Fuel Cells and Plaskrete. This is a really nice starting region. Um, yeah, not looking bad. So we'll go grab this Plaskrete and then hopefully by the time we're all set with that, we'll have some pillaging operations we can do. Yeah, we're in the bottom corner here, not bad. And Fuel Cells are always a good thing to have. <laughs> Master? All right. Well, yeah, I mean, the Baron and Robin don't have happy endings in the books either, so it's 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 pretty much the same there. Uh, they did add the little fight between, um, you know, Robin and... Uh, I don't want to spoil... I know I know the book's been out for like 50 years, but <laughs> almost 50 years. Well, probably over 50 years, right? Um, so it's like, you know, I don't want to spoil it, but... Yeah, Fremen aren't fixed, but we're just, we just told him not to abuse the skirmishers. It's fine, you know, I'm not going to fun police, fun police people in a non-competitive environment, so... All right, um, cool. We live, we live to serve, Master. I love how just comically evil the Harkonnens are. It's my favorite. Just say, yes, Master. Fremen fixed Monday. That's that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Uh, water sucks here. Wow. Oh, baby. Full chub space wreck. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We got the space wreck near us. That's what I'm talking about. Let's deploy you. And um, then I guess we just start working on the old uh, Plaskrete here so we can build up our villages. So how it works with the Chonk is you usually will be very, like, kind of poor early on, but you make up for that by pillaging, and then eventually you'll get your techs online where you're, you're kind of cackling. Definitely need a couple spice fields. Um, that is for sure. We're soon going to have the instill fear, and we can go ahead and grab a gun or two. All right, so those guys are going to heal up. Let's go grab these around, and we can grab that too. We probably want to take the free tech here, actually, instead of the spice. I think that's going to be probably the way to do it. So we got uh, the observatory. Do we see any second spice field anywhere? Not yet. Our drones will hopefully find one soon. Yeah, the wreck uh, is good. I didn't get it last game, though. I didn't get it last game. I think it's just like observancy bias. Like you watch me play a lot, so and you see it, and so maybe you just think it's it's free, like perpetual. But it is five water there too, so I should probably save up for that and then rush that. The Harkonnens have, like, at least pre-patch, though. The Harkonnens did have the worst mothership. Like, hands down, it was not very good. All right, let's get a demo in here. And then we need to get a manpower building there next. So that'll be our next on the docket operation. Uh, this one's ready to take. And then we get a maintenance center. One manpower if we have a building of each type. That's really good. So we'll do that, and then we'll have in Sylph here soon. Yeah, they're going to make a movie for Dune Messiah, from what I understand, which is the... Uh, yeah, second book. And that's the conclusion of Paul Atreides' stories to an extent. Obviously, his legacy lives on through his, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, but it lives on. Um, but yeah, as far as like his individual character, that's going to be the uh, the wrap on that. All right, so from here, we will get this. Yes. What would be the best faction for newer players? Uh, Atreides are pretty good for new players, honestly. You just kind of like are pretty turtly. And uh, Fremen are, are obviously really strong right now, too. So... Yeah, cheaper buildings here is really nice. So we can get an early uh, space field there. Could also get knowledge, but I think just spamming out manpower is going to be the way for the Harkonnens. And then we need to do um, work ethics and survival training in Arax's Butchers. Arax's Butchers is S tier because when you kill militia and rebels, you get uh, you get manpower. So it's super good, right? So we're going to have two manpower buildings coming up in a minute. And you, we'll get you on Arrakis. Pull back. First things here, we get a maintenance center. Oh, we don't have work ethics yet, but we will soon. Okay. So aside from that, we can just slap down some fuel cells. Just prepare for later. And now we have instill fear. So what we do now is we just go pillage all the crappy villages. <laughs> Turn all Gaib will lead us to paradise. I don't know if that's the Baron's thing, but, you know, yeah. Sounds good to me. Harkonnens are my favorite to play. Vernius as well. I love Vernius. They're complicated, but they, they definitely have a lot of cool synergies. 
Yeah, you want to do the God Emperor and Children of Dune? I, it would it would not look good. It wouldn't be a good movie in my opinion. Yeah, I could be wrong, but well, anyways, we have the propaganda over there. Let's go ahead and start selling a little bit more spice. All right, the spice, and for these villages, we definitely need to get them fully geared out. So can we actually get this without dying in the deep desert? I don't know. Let's just go elsewhere for now. We got the ship parts over here, which is excellent. So we're going to go get those. Uh, as far as this goes, now we're going to get two manpower buildings online. So our, our manpower economy should be good. Plus work ethics will give us three. All right. We're hanging in there. Uh, unfortunately, not too many spice fields yet. If we have at least two, we're going to be fine. But if we don't get two, then we're pretty much a potato. This one's really good also, This because we could do the um, rare minerals plant here, or the, uh, yeah, and get that. Hmm. Yes. All right, man, the Harkonnens are so much simpler to play, though. Yeah, the Vernius aesthetic is really cool. It is. All right, uh, building infrastructure control, 189. I could get that. ECAS has 189. Pwn and I both have the same. Vote me governor, please. This is a really, really good one to get early. Um, but I don't know if it would come into play. Yeah, 2.5k hedge. <sighs> you know what? Let's just go for it. I don't have my Harkonnen taint to rub on it. Ekaz might beat me on it. We have the same amount of votes. So if he... Um, yeah, he might beat me on it. But this is a really, really powerful one to get to, to skyrocket early on. It depends on how the minor houses vote, really. If the minor houses vote for him, it's, it's, it is what it is. Then, you know, I'm rolling the dice here a little bit. It's, it's who cares. Incite Rebellion takes authority now, says Shoop. Oh, yeah, it does. Did we get it? Ugh! Oh, we beat him. Yes, he didn't even put that many votes into it, so that's good. All right, so now we can go pretty bananas. Once we capture another territory here, um, we are going to be the Cackle Monsters. All right, so 91. We can use this, uh, this cheap kind of augment here to sauce up our territory. Let's do this, and then um, aside from that, we can get a knowledge building to try and tech a little bit. I don't want to pillage that, and oh, that's right, we can pillage things without the penalty being an issue. That's so nice. Still a little bit dodgy here. Can we kill this militia quick enough? Um, we can't afford to like lose our army early, but I think we can get them. We're cutting it a little bit close. Oh, we might have screwed up here, guys. If we lose our whole army to supplies, I'm gonna I'm gonna weep tears, dude. Come on, kill them quicker. Shit! Supplies? I think we only lose one guy. Oh! Oh man, that was really close. We almost lost a lot there. That would have been very unfortunate. Alright, so we get that. We can take the authority right away, which will let us expand. So we're gonna do that. And then we get the supplies and then we head home. Jesus, that was dodgy. So now we can go get the space wreck. So let's get another gunner. Get a nice little early army and keep spending all this plastic to augment while we have the cost reduction. Oh my god, we're still barely making it home. I thought it would give us more supplies than that. So we're going to lose one guy. Maybe two. Oh, okay, we only lost one. Still worth. Yeah, Rax's butchers will give us water. Okay, we got free tech there. Let's go over this way. Rally point. Um, we can set him right here. I that was That was living quite dangerously, my friends. So we just need to generate a little bit more water. Let's get the space rack, and then that's going to open up main... Oh, we can already do main building sweep. Okay. So let's get the manpower. And um, if we can get two main buildings in this window of time, that's going to be prime time. That'll be really, really good. So now we have the armory upgrades, so we can uh, sauce the boys up. So lose, 75, lose health above 75% at the start of combat. Regain health, loss that way at the end of combat. Um, power, but we lose speed. Bird Slayer. Wow, there's, there's a lot of new stuff to take into account here. The butchers of Arrakis continue their butchering and their evil schemes. Okay, knowledge. And um, we need to get militia here, so then we have good production. Let's grab this. The heavies are going to handle that back there. Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are staying thirsty. We only have four water right now. But yeah, getting an early spaceship, and then if we can actually build it um, in this region, like right after, that's going to be pretty MLG, because then we're going to have an early ship, and we could straight up probably just take someone out of the game with that. Fremen are on our borders. Harkonnen versus Fremen is very iconic. I think that's very much in the flavor. All right. Yeah, and we can get that soon. All right, so let's take the spacing guild, uh, guild area. 
Yeah, it's at 5k hedge. This is going to put us pretty close. I don't think we're going to get it while we have that, but we are going to get some main base buildings, which is excellent. Excellent, excellent. All right, so let's get one more heavy here. The manpower is doing good. Once we finish with the Arax's Butchers, we do Martial Economy after, which is the one that lets you oppress your regions. Uh, let's go Space and Guild. Manpower is really good for Harkonnens early. Because your villages with Harkonnens suffer a production penalty if you don't have militia in them, so they're just terrible. All right. Let's get water here first and foremost. And um, we're almost at 5k. We have 69, the blessed number. Uh, these can be taken soon, but I don't think it'll be quick enough. Hey, another spice field. All right. Well, that, that simplifies that equation. And per perfect. We have a maintenance center here too. Wow. Who told the worm to eat my harvester? Good. Pwn's harvester getting eaten. Yeah, we're going to play Age of Empires tomorrow, probably. That's uh, on my jacket. All right, so for this, we can just get crappy militia. Yes. Let's fully replenish their supplies before we move out, so I'm not a potato again. Uh, we don't have any heavies here, but that's going to be good water, and then we can go ahead and claim the spaceship parts. Stay thirsty, my friends. All right, so heading up north, we're going to grab that, and we have enough water now, so we get the plus 30. And that's going to finish the manpower, which is really good. And then um, from here, we definitely want to get more. Could get a barracks. It does give you a decent experience and whatnot. Hmm. Well, we get that, and if we get this quick enough, we're still going to be able to build the spacing guild. Okay. Oh, there's some nice ones up here too. The craft workshop one. Our conans are kind of weird. They can play like a multitude of win conditions. So troopers in combat keeps fighting five seconds after they die. That's a really cool one. That's really cool. They reworked like all the goodies. All right. Get some heavies over here, and um, for now, we can just hang tight because we need to save the plasteel for this. And that's going to put us up to... Is that going to be enough hedge to get this spaceport going? All right. So, scarring armor. In combat, keeps fighting after they die. Heals 30% at the start of combat, and then they lose that. Um, I think we do the morbid climax. I know it's not going to help us early, but that's so cool that we could have them keep fighting after they die for five seconds. It's just so, such good flavor on that. It's so so weird and creepy. So very much in the Harkonnen spirit. All right. So that's... Okay, we're at 5K now, so we need to take advantage of the cheaper buildings and get the Space and Guild branch. Yes, our plan has succeeded, guys. We, we, just, we just scored pretty hard here. Let's get some heavies, and then we can get... We can even get the, um, the factory here that pumps it up. And while we have this, we should buy our slots because they're all cheaper too. So we're just going to buy a bunch of these, our development slots. Uh, while they're just all on discount. All right, so nothing is, yeah, nothing is going on over there that's too wild. Let's go ahead and bash this. We have the Arax's Butchers now, and do we still have the discount? We do. All right, so let's go ahead and get this. Water, and yeah, we can get the Administrative Hall. That one's not bad. Is it that good, though? Yeah, it'll do, Pig. It'll do. Gives you, you know, authority production, which isn't bad. Yeah, Pwn is in the game. He's coming for me, dude. So we're getting manpower from taking these down, which is great. So we can use that to sauce out our villages and just get heavies in there. One demo, two. Looks like we have a little bit of money here. Let's continue pillaging. We need a bigger army for these pillaging operations. That's for sure. We're about to get a second spice harvester. So the chunk is coming online, the space cartman. Uh, we do not want this. So I'm just going to deny the lands rat examination. Uh, although, maybe I'll try and get private mandate for myself. Yeah, that's probably more important. Although, going negative in Landsrad would suck pretty bad. That would suck pretty bad, ladies and gentlemen. Ekaz is like high elves. They kind of are. Yeah. Uh, this is so good for me. Uh, but if I lose that, gain 100% Landsrad until the start of the... If I go negative in Landsrad, that's really annoying. But honestly, we'll get back. Let's just like try and get this one for ourselves with 100 and see what happens. I suspect the other players don't want this either. Although Smugglers and Fremen could vote this because they don't care about Lionsrad really. The F Smugglers will care about it, but this early in the game, I don't know if they will. Okay. So Space and Guild Branch is coming online. And over here, what do we want to throw down? Um, did it go? Okay, it didn't pass. Oh, thank the Dark Gods. Head back here. You guys go pillage this. The Butchers of Arrakis will continue their butchering. Mothership is on the horizon. Any actions? Yeah, supply drop is good, so we can continue butchering. <laughs> he says, fools, I'm rich now. 
Uh, we did not get the mandate that allows us to karate chop. We did not get that. So that did not go in our favor. But next up, we want to get the Well of Riches down there. That one's a really good one. And I think we get this as a connecting tissue, and then we can get a maintenance center there. I think that's how we do it. Yeah, all right. Bash that, and we get intel too. Harkonnens get intel when they pillage villages, so that's really nice. And let's get this and go grab that free flyer there. That's going to be ours. Let's head back to the village. So the Chonk is keeping his economy stable. Martial economy is going to finish, and when that finishes, that helps us a lot. That's uh, very good. We hold instruments of doom. What is it, Why are you undeployed? Shouldn't you be auto-deploying? Did they revert that change, or am I just not paying attention? Okay. So what do we have here? We have military building, so obviously we want to get this. We live to serve. And we're back to the base. We need to get more militia here. So we're just going to get some basic militia so that village produces efficiently. And the spacing guild branch is now going to start going. The spacing, the, the fencers are good now for ECAS? No way. Those things are so haggard. They must be. I, they must have gotten some big changes. Oh, another spice field too. Wow. Okay. Wow. Double spice field. Well, that's up towards old Pone Dog, so we might get dragged into early conflict with him. Uh, martial economy is pretty great from here. We're gonna probably complete the red tree, so we don't get bullied early. Or we could go full greed. Do we go full greed? Let's go ahead and get intelligence network and spying logistics to get some agents out. All right. And we got the drone here. Drone can sit, and we can go in safe mode here and apply crew. Ready. And then we need to do this and go in safe mode there too. All right, so we got two safe mode boys. Take the money. We're in the positive again. We have 65 authority, which isn't amazing, but it'll do, pig. It'll do. Um, I think we go for another spice field, although the Well of Riches is really good. That Pwn is up here. I can see his borders. Yeah, let's go grab this. It has five water here too. That feels really nice. And in the main base, we can get more. All right, so we can also get the Knowledge and Hedge Gains building, which wouldn't be bad. None of those are super useful for us. We can do the Propaganda to take that. I think we do this so we can keep expanding quicker and be greedy. We're getting ship parts already, so we're going to be potentially a Cackle Monster here soon. What is that? That is the Craft Workshop building? Okay. So not able to buy Chum yet, but once we get the Oppression going, yeah, the Office of the Order, that's where it gets real, real crazy. Uh, this should be a heavy, not a uh, one of these. Yeah. Because the, the demo militia tend to get tied down too quickly. I don't know if they changed that in this patch, but we're going to start oppressing both our spice fields, which should turbo our spice production. Yeah, should turbo launch it into outer space. Let the blood flow. Yes, evil. All right, so crump those down. And... Um, we need to get armory upgrades for this guy. I don't know which ones are good anymore. Yeah, it's all, all been reworked. So things are changing. Um, Pwn is up there. Maybe we don't expand any further. We do have a couple dudes coming down here. Let's get one more heavy. Uh, I have the free ship part, so I don't think we need to contribute anything. Office of the Order is going to be on both of those. We have Maintenance Center here. And um, we could just get another manpower building. But manpower upkeep is insane. It's uh, They're so expensive. They can tank your economy if you're not careful. Yeah, everything's looking good in the main base. We're gonna get the recruit speed so we can start that uh, that engine going. Let's go grab this class creep. We need more on Arrakis for sure, because we haven't been able to expand super well. Although we probably do have the highest. Nope, they've caught up to us. All right, team. Get another spice harvester here. Let's get some heavy so we don't have to guard this. Finish that. David! Go nuke Pwn? I know. It, it, the, the, it, there, if he, so here's the condition in which I would nuke Pwn. If he gets really far ahead of me, uh, and I'm like trying to shut him down in the fourth quarter, and I, it's my on, only chance is when I would nuke him. Thank you, though, for that donation, man. I really appreciate that. And uh, hopefully you're enjoying the dune action. All right. Our lives belong okay, so the chonks have done it. We got that coming here. Haven't really developed this region too much. Um, most likely we do a maintenance center... And then expand north and get the White Rift. It's a pretty good win con. Three Spice Fields is definitely good for the Chonk. If we can get a fourth one, that's obviously even better. But that's expanding really greedily. Like, really greedy. Oh, maybe we do it, though. Maybe we do it. All right. So we can probably get the uh, Experimental Furnace here, too. This is a really good spot for it. It's going to hit, you know, two Spice Fields, which is just money. Also, it could go up here, too. But I think getting it in the middle of these two is going to be good. You can see our income's starting to, like, get serious now. 
Red fluid is still great. Troopers get faster attack and their health drops and fluid adds to that. That's nice. Ready for destruction. Yeah, we have currently the morbid uh, business here. Attack speed minus 50 health per day while in combat. That seems pretty good. That's kind of like the machine gun thing. Yeah, we get the power, but then it's counteracted by that. 30% power is pretty good. Ducky, if you haven't watched the new Dune... Oh, dude, I, I have. Yes. I didn't see it in IMAX, though. I saw it in just a regular, regular theater. All right, so we're getting the statecraft stuff. I don't sense any early aggression. So I'm just going to keep pillaging and then um, be kind of greedy, which could be my downfall. But, you know, the Baron the Baron has to have a, a comedically haggard downfall anyway. So, all right, let's get the Office of the Order here. Let's get a manpower building and just kind of keep cruising. Let's get some more troopers. We can actually get executioners now. They're pretty expensive, though. So let's just get basic troopers. You got it, David. You got it, man. All right. So pillage in time. And then we just go chain pillage all these. Oh, man, that's a really good one to take. But I kind of like the idea of getting this double spice field right here. It will put me on the precipice of war with the old pwn dog, which is scary. But um, yeah, we have one in greed mode. The other ones are not. So those have finished. Um, geothermal is nice. We can go for... Let's go for the chome branch. Let's go for the old chome branch here. And we're going to get knowledge and hedge gains here, because then that will give us a little bit of intel production. Yeah, the research center should be good. So we'll start on that. Land Shad is popping off. I don't really have much to say in the Land Shad. I just need to not get that voted on me. So let's put this on um, Ekaz. I'm going to try and slow Pwn down since he's my neighbor. So I'm going to put all my votes into that. Oh, never mind. They're immune to it. So we're just going to give it to the smugglers then. Yeah. And do it. So everybody's doing their shenanigans. Is there anything? So ECAS leverage their immunity on that. So we're going to put it on the smugglers because I just don't want it on me because I have triple spice field right now and that would really suck. So yeah, we, we don't want any of that. So we're going to go get Chome integration since we have triple spice field. Like, oh, he's expanding that way. Shit. All right. That might change my pattern to go down here, actually. So maybe we just grab this. It does have five water in that region, which is, you know, you got to take that into account too. Looks like he's going to get that, so I'm going to expand south. Because he's already going to have a foothold there, you know? All right, so let's go creep. Looking good, and the oppression is uh, coming online, so my villages are going to be oppressed now, which is outstanding. Baron, how could you? It was Ekaz. <laughs> oh, no, that's right. We weren't going to do that. Yeah, we were going to capture this. Okay. And then we can get a maintenance center here in this region. I just randomly point my chubby finger at Ekaz and say it was him, because that's hilarious. And then we need to get, what is this? Intel per statecraft building, and if it has one building of each type. Okay, so we definitely want to get a little statecraft action up here. Uh, probably need Plasteel. Our Plasteel is kind of kind of weak at this point. Kind of weak sauce. And a maintenance center would be next. Um, this is if we have, yeah, it's just water here. So let's get that at 150. You want to get your Plascrete in the regions that are being oppressed. That's like the biggest, the biggest boom yes. you can get there. Uh, this region has intel of one building of each type. Okay, so we can just start eco building here. And um, where else do we want to pillage? We're not going to be able to take that one for a hot minute. I like how Pwn didn't even defend himself when I was like, it was him. It's just nothing. Just pure silence. Uh, we could go raid that. That would be really funny to get aggressive early on <laughs> and just start raiding. Keep raiding, raiding, raiding. All right. Um, and you, we can get the maintenance center now because that's going to hit these three regions. And uh, yeah, it should be okay. All right. So heavies and demos and one range, whatever. We're still bashing our rebels. Uh, Chome is being bought pretty heavily by Homeboy there. So what is this going to give us? Plasteel? All right. Let's get the Plasteel. Let's get the Plasteel. And the other four of you guys can come over and just start pillaging again. So we're going to head over that way and see what we can get done. Yeah, he's looking extra menacing over there. All right. And um, yeah, economically, it's a little bit tough right now, but we're going to make up for it in due time. We do have, I believe, a special region, so we're going to gain a little bit of hedge for that. We are head on the hedge department. The machine gunners. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about the blood thinner thing. 40% damage against flying units with less than... Okay, so that like lets them just slay big flyers. 
which uh, Ikaz probably wouldn't have too many of those. I do have the big flying advantage. Like, I'm going to have a mothership soon. They're going to be, like, shocked at how quick I have a mothership, I think. We almost have modular parts. Yeah, that's going to soon give us the chome. Can get a Rax, and here we can go ahead and get the Intelligence Agency, which is very good for our Conan. Our Conans are pretty good at doing agent actions and stuff. Oh, wow, he just expanded super heavily down towards me. Okay, so he's getting a little bit crunk nasty. Uh, oppression is going on all of our spice fields, which is great. Water's a little bit tight. Do we have water here? We do, and we do not have water here yet, so let's get that. That's going to give us a ton. We have the supply drop, so let's go pillage towards the middle. All right, looking good, looking good. And uh, Worm Call is always a good one to have in your back pocket. I think I'm gonna do that just to be safe in case like we see Ikaz roll down with an army. Although I think they would struggle with my heavy militia. Could be wrong. We're gonna set up a turret here and then a listening post is gonna be the plan. Uh, also, we have five water in that region. I think we have to do that instead of the turret. What's our yeah. next? No missile, we're not gonna have any airfield there. But yeah, the five water regions are just too good to pass up on, right? All right, so the troopers are getting nice and pissed off. Let's just give them the uh, attack speed is pretty good. That's going to make them worse at pillaging right now, so I think we're going to hold off on doing that for the time being. All right, so a little bit of a raid up there should be dealt with. Does Turin have access to heroes? Yeah, 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 we have the heroes. The last game we used them, they were, they were great. Let's get that. Harks definitely feel way easier to play than the uh, than the Vernius. Vernius is really fun, but they're complicated, man. Harks are just so straightforward. It's just like unga bunga, Hulk smash, Hulk make money. You know, that's like that's how you play these guys. All right, so that's gonna pop, and then we have a building of each type, which we would then get a maintenance center here. Although we no, we wouldn't. That would be a yeah, so we got the five water here, so we get that, and then we can just get a knowledge building next. Our knowledge isn't that great. Harkonnens are, you know, not the wisest creatures. They're cunning, but the Unga Bunga likes to make money. That's kind of their whole jam. All right, let's take that down, pass it around, and um, next up, yeah, we got rebellions coming. Uh, why is this region's production not good? Oh, it's because it's being, oh, it's the oppression thing, okay. Usually it's like they're constantly oppressed, so yeah, there you go. All right. And the Office of the Order is still, you know, just a hardcore staple. So next we go get the Well of Riches. It's 129, so we, we've looted enough. And now we can head home. I really like, if you move through the sandstorms, by the way, the radio, there's like radio chatter. Oh god, the Fremen are in the sandstorms! Oh no, do you guys see that? It's just like the movie. All right. So we got the Labithopter. Okay. To... Uh, and then we need to just fly around and do all this and look for special regions. Uh, dude, the Fremen were in the bushes. When the when the sand starts speaking Fremen, you better run. All right, so we need to heal up a little bit. Main base is ready, so now we have this. We have influence and intel, uh, for free, which isn't bad. Yeah, I hate typing on phones too, dude. I get you. Uh, no turret up there. Definitely a little bit of plasteel here wouldn't be a bad idea. And then we're going to get the experimental furnace right here in the middle. Eventually we're going to skyrocket up in Chome. Now's not the time, but the Baron will be the Chome overlord in due time. Um, let's get some more gunners to make sure we have a decent standing army in the beginning. Let's gear our harvesters out with manpower. Yes, yes. And we found that. All right, so we're going to keep exploring and looking for the Labithopter assemblies. Pillage this while we're here. Witness a sandworm with the Labithopter. That's pretty cool. So you could like bait out a sandworm, basically. Huh. The Trial of the Great Houses. Uh, definitely declining that one because we don't want our Landsrad to kind of suffer. We don't want it. Uh. Okay. So Ecaz is immune to that, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm just going to de deny this. Pwn would, if he voted this, that'd be really strong. Nail me down in the pits because currently my, uh, my, my bonus isn't so good. I am almost tempted to send an alliance to the Fremen. Okay, if this passes, the, the Fremen will rebel. Okay, they're going to try and make that pass. I don't think I have enough votes to stop them. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and just try and get this Solaria upkeep. Because the Fremen are going to shoehorn this one through to create a rebellion. So, and they have way more influence than me right now, so 
not way more, but a little bit. And with anyone else voting, it would it would happen. So I'm just going to try and get the upkeep production to make some money. And then we come down and get this, get the experimental furnace right here. There's the Fremen Rebellion. So the Fremen have created the dreaded rebellion in the lands. And can we get the Chome Branch yet? We're about to get it. Yeah, Chome Integration is about to go down. All right, so stay here, pillage this. Um, we can go ahead and grab some freebies around here. So let's get the ship parts where we can. Ready. Fremen Rebellions are different. You don't get the free defense against them, even if you have an Office of the Order, to my knowledge. Yes. How far am I here? Uh, five? Okay, that's not bad. We'll keep exploring up there. We've dealt with the Fremen uh, Rebellion, and now... We need to go military to make sure nobody comes at us. This lobby has been pretty chill so far, so I might be able to just be the greed chunk. Experimental furnace here is going to be pretty MLG. That's going to increase our spice production in both these regions massively. Like massively. So that was the next kind of set of plans. among Plan among plans, yes. And uh, we have another one of you, so let's put you on Chome and just get extra rich. And let's head down this way and go grab that, the Well of Riches. So experimental furnace here is going to be good, because we'll make some money here too. And um, Pone in the north, don't know what he's up to. I think he's mostly chill for now. Man, Chome is already so expensive. So crazy. It's crazy how expensive this Chome is. They see me Chome and they hate him. They are, dude. They really are. So for the free armory upgrade, that's like a big, heavy thump, right? The flyer upgrade isn't bad. Attack speed one isn't bad also, but you do lose health per day, which is kind of annoying. Anyways, let's take this region. Uh, I think I need to take advantage of the fact that I'm going to have an early overlord and try and just karate chop someone. We could go after old Pwn. He is my neighbor. So that's probably how it's going to go down. So we'll go military tech here. And we're about to get the experimental furnace, which is outstanding. Let's get a knowledge building here. And now the well of riches is going to be ours too. We have a knowledge building here. Yeah, we need to get more knowledge. So we're just going to get that in a couple regions. So knowledge is right here. It's this little metric which keeps track of how quickly you, uh, you research stuff. All right. So, yeah, we don't have a lot of plastic, but we do have plenty of manpower. So let's get the boys coming down here. And now we can get the income building and soon to be a maintenance center. It's actually a good way to expand too, man. We got, uh, we got fuel cells down there. We got another spice field. Rebellion up there should be taken care of. And the Labithopter is dying to random stuff, so we're going to bring it down here and let it heal. I, I don't know if we can heal it, but we're going to try. I don't know if the Overlord's good. It could be terrible. Let's do the hard-hitting one, the heavy loads. That just sounds badass. Let's do that. And we can go ahead and get this. And, um, yeah, looking good. And the Overlord will be out, like, really soon. We're just missing 10 fuel cells, which is fine. We, we can go grab them down here next. So once we get 146, we'll roll down there and get that. And then we can get a maintenance center there, and uh, life is going to be good. Is there anything we want to pillage nearby? Yeah, we can pillage this, make it a little bit cheaper. We do have good money, but Chome is super pricey at the moment. Nobody else is really buying into it too heavily, though. Yeah, it's not like a super... I think we need an airfield up there, by the way. There's Pwn's base. Ekaz is making its little desert sanctuaries. Yeah, aesthetically pleasing. Yes. All right, so let's go here and look for the fancies. We're trying to get that free permanent knowledge, what right? Do you need? What do you need? Are Cerberus good now, by the way? I suppose they are. They can trigger some cool abilities. Our lives All right, so uh, yeah, we were pillaging this region because we were going to head south. The armory upgrades are coming online. Good. I like that they're free now, too. I think that's a nice touch. I need those fuel cells, so that, that's that's going to be the extent to which we can let the Fremen party on our uh, doorstep. So we'll get water here. The dreaded do it collector. Do it. And um, aside from that, we need to get the Chome integration. The Chome branch is just the best. It's so good for Harkonnens. The exchange rate can just fly through the ceiling, basically. Okay, Labathopter just needs to find one more region. Head south, get those fuel cells, uh, 146, so we can take that now. And then we're, we're golden. Then we need to get airfield networks up too. All right, another agent. Let's put him on um, Space and Guild. Uh, probably Arrakis, actually, just for influence. Hmm. So we're going to head down this way. Look at this. Spice, we're getting 100 spice there and 95 spice here. Oh, that's so good and tasty, boys. 
The Baron is, is going to be rolling in money. Like, rolling in it. We're just going to be a fat, gelatinous, hairless body rolling rolling in spice. It's going to be great. Uh, did we finish this quest? We did. Nice. So the Labathopter quest got finished. We're up to 15 knowledge, which is decent. It's, it's not amazing, but it'll do. And we've gotten the ship parts here. So we're at 120 ship parts. Uh, up here... Do we want to get an airfield? I think we need an airfield up there. I think that's going to be pretty essential to make sure. You know, it's really a contested border territory, so having an air network there is going to be big. And we have four heavy militia in there, so I know a turret would help, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, scavenger teams is really good, too, by the way. Cerberus make enemies bleed if they move, so they are for Russian gun lines. Yeah, they seem pretty good. I'll try a couple out this game. Non-mechanical targets bleed over time. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, a lot, of a lot of fun changes in this update. So the Chonk is making decent money, but not as good as I would like. Oh, the Chum buying prices are high because my Landsrad standing sucks. Okay. So let's try and offer non-aggression packs here and see if the smugglers want one too. Oh yeah, I need to get my Landsrad up. Did he take it? Oh God, it's an ambush. I've been ambushed. Fight. Oh, the red fluid. What the hell? He's teleporting and shit. He's doing anime moves. Alright, let's get the demo militia. Apparently those things are insane. It's just like the movies all over again. Okay, we did get his demo militia. Let's see if we can get some of these guys out. Oh, he has Fidekin in here. There's no way I'm winning this fight. Yeah, I'm like mostly low tier units, so we need to get some executioners. He's probably not going to be able to do anything to us in terms of our base, but... Um, yeah, maybe, maybe he can. I don't know. We need to get some boys out there. If he moves this way, we worm call him. And then maybe he runs out of supplies. So the Fremen, of course, they didn't want that. Um, I need to get my Landsrad standing back. I don't have any way of increasing it at the moment. Is there any, like, things laying around that I can get Landsrad with? Dude, his Fidekin were doing some anime shit. They were, like, teleporting and, uh... Yeah, I was getting bonkers. I need my own oil bath like the Baron. It's true. It's a good thing I started switching into military, though. Or else I could be in some serious danger here. Uh, Alright, my attention is needed, gear regulations, uh, yeah, we're just going to do this on the Fremen for now and see if we can make it happen. Oh, each vote on ECAS, shit, I didn't see that. Well, that would have made me, I don't need money anyway, so at this point, I just need to get my, um, my rates back up. Yeah, Fremen are hard banned in lobbies, yeah, that's what I've heard. I've heard they're pretty busted, so this is going to be a hard fight. We're going to wait for him to overextend a little bit, and then we're going to do a worm call now. So now he's going to have to flee, and... We'll see if Shai Halud loves his Chosen that much. Yeah, he's fleeing the scene. I do have some big heavies coming out, so I'm hoping they'll be able to fight. And let's go ahead and get the command post. Uh, the Fremen might have gotten sandwormed. Oh, he used the hidden thumper to escape. That's pretty funny. So he's, he's, he's fleeing with that. I really need to get Landsrad somehow. As much as uh, it pains me, I must, I must probably ally with Professor Pone. Wow, Fremen are just flying over here. I don't know if my heavies can win that fight. We're going to see. What do you need? Uh, let's go ahead and get some uh, Cerberus. Yeah. Because I can't really buy the Chome, which is unfortunate. He's running out of supplies. See, his whole army's going to die. Not all of them, but he's losing three units here. So the Chad Harkonnen militia will probably be able to hold them off. I need influence, man. I'm just such a potato at the moment. All right. So let's get you off Chome. Let's go Chome. And we're just going to go three into Landsrad. <laughs> The executioners have arrived. Alright, so we're going to chase these guys down. He sacrifices the infiltrator. Uh, not sure where he's going. Definitely just going to die. Alright, so the Fremen coming from across map. They're getting real real nasty here. But once I get the Overlord ship, I feel like I should be able to handle him. I don't know. We'll find out. can easily replace Militia with the Harkonnens, which is great. Um, do I need a turret here? Is he going to come back? Alright, so these guys are cru uh, cruising for a bruising. I need the Landsrad. I need the blessed, sacred Landsrad. Uh, do I have enough to send a non aggro pact? I might have to sweeten the pot. Because I can't buy Chome while I'm like negative Landsrad. That really screwed me up earlier. Alright, so main base seems. Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna lose that region. I don't think I can get up there in time. So while the Fremen were attacking me, some raiders liberated this. Okay, that's really shitty. That's really bad. It's fine, though. We'll get it back. Damn, dude. There should be, like, a huge notification, like, hey, this is going real bad here. 
It's fine though. We'll go down here and get this. That is going to slow down our economy massively though. How long till we can get that back? Is it going to be 19 days? Jesus. That's a long time. Guess I needed a turret up there or something. Uh, we got a rebellion going here. That's a standard one though. So let's get these fuel cells. I'm like pretty, pretty behind now. So that feels bad. And uh, let's see if I can get a non-aggression with Old Pwn. Maybe he'll take it. Maybe he will. Yeah, that was really bad, man. That was sucks. How many more days? 17 or 18? Yeah. So Fremen will probably be back here to bully me. Uh, let's get this. Did he take it? He did. Okay, he took it. So now I'm going to get how much lands are at? Plus five. <laughs> at least it's like on the road to progress. I think we have to get an embassy. As shitty as that is, we just like are suffering so bad in the lands red. Alright, so we're cleaning out this village. The Cerberus could be good against the Fremen, who knows. Let's take that, and down here we can go ahead and get uh, a little bit more knowledge perhaps. I don't think we have any issues on manpower, that's for sure. Let's get some troopers. Just need bodies at this point. And we're just basically counting the days until we can take this back. So airfield here, we have an airfield up here, so our empire is reasonably well defended. We don't have a lot of intel at the moment. Parallel training will give us pretty good military. I think we can do enhanced questioning because that'll give us uh, intel spam so we can do like more worm calls and things like that. All right, so let's do this. Let's do a missile turret and um, let's just hang tight for a second and then we can get another fuel cell and that will allow us to get the mothership, which should stifle enemy aggression. At least we still have two spice fields too. We're not like a complete idiot. And the embassy finishing will give us close to how much we need to get there. Master. I hate that I had to build the embassy. That feels bad, but it is what it is. Uh, currently, what's slowed? Ec economy developments. Okay. Ready, All right. So we got the boys. We'll We're next to the Fremen. We're eyeing them like, uh, you know, a little something need? something. Ready, Troopers are coming. Let's get some gunners. Uh, the big heavies. We haven't upgraded them yet, which is kind of Bronze Odia. So we need to do that. Honestly, let's just stay down here, because that's where the Fremen would attack, so I think we just got to chill out down there. Let's look at what options we have. So, while he has no stack of Bloodthirsty, the Executioner gains armor. Okay, cheaper on reaching no health, lose one stack of Bloodthirsty, regain 50 health. And then Red Fluid. So let's do the, the parrying arm guards to make them a little tankier. And go from there. The hero units are cool. Speaking of, I, I should be getting one, yeah. Let's get a hero. Glossu Robin. Oh, yeah, dude. Every free village. Every village gets one free heavy militia. Uncontrollable own units at long range become Raven's Thralls. And they get uncontrollable. Uncontrollable, hey? All right. So let's get the fuel cell here. And who's the other one? Eakon Nefeud. Allied military units at level one become cannon fodder. We're just going to get Robin for now. Oh, he's metal. So every village gets plus one free heavy militia. I really like that. That's really nice. What's our next so Robin, he's definitely going to be better than he is in the friggin' movie. Uh, that's going to be available in a moment. Okay, let's get our armies out of here. And uh, cool, so the main base is coming together. So training slots is probably pretty important here to muster big armies with the Harkonnens quickly. So we're going to do that. Unassigned agent. Let's get him on the spacing guild. Why not? A little manpower doesn't hurt. It's Glossu in time. Is that your favorite part in the movie when they said it was Glossu in time? Me too. Alright, so looking fine. Then we'll finish off the chome. And we just need to make sure we re-establish this. Uh, and then let's see if I can get peace with the smugglers. The reason why I'm doing this is to get lands rad. So I'm going to get plus 15 next council. And if the smugglers ally me, then I'll get more. Then I can finally start playing the chum game, but this is the weirdest Baron game ever. Okay. It's Glossu in time, yeah. Nearby own non-mechanical units cannot be controlled. Oh, gladiator drugs. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Uncontrollable own units at long range become his thrall. Okay, interesting. And they get power and armor. Dealing with OP Fremen. See, I have to politic. I have to use the Fremen's OP nature about. Uh, uh, to my advantage here. What is that? Statecraft building? Okay. We'll get an airfield down there so I can fly down there in a pinch. And uh, this is going to be free. 
Oh, I didn't quite get the lands rad, unfortunately. The embassy didn't quite get me there. It's a shame. Oh, he hello. All right, let's see if we can squeeze that one out. I don't care if this happens for now, because I need to save money before I go on a chum buying spree anyways. Are you guys talking about the Arcane show? Yeah, that show was really good. I really liked it. I really went in thinking I wasn't going to like it, but I, I ended up liking it. It was, it was great. Yes, we're not in the chum pits anymore. Yes. So enhanced questioning is insanely good. Um, we get just a ton of intel. And let's go ahead and do the chum upgrades. We have, I feel, a pretty good standing army. And Glossu is ready to party, so he's here. And this village is going to be ready in a couple days. So we'll just do a little bit more pillaging. How are we looking here? Uh, we need to get a maintenance center down here next. Though honestly, we could probably just slap it here since we're not going to get that Fremen Spice Field anytime soon. Let's pillage that. Probably need some more heavies. In armory, yeah, we need to get more upgrades, but the crew training program is pretty good considering how much spice income we have. We're here for you. Yes, my lord. He's got a cool voice, yeah. Raven uses a psychedelic cocktail that temporarily turns his bodyguards into frenzied zombies. <laughs> that's so. that's so cool. Okay, so I think the Rebellion. Robin is going to make the villages a little bit easier to control. Sleep Regents is really nice too. Uh, currently, the, the sales incentive is, is on right now, so not going to happen. Let's go up here and grab this. Fremen, we do have an airfield, so if they decide to come down here, we should be okay. Let's go ahead and get a listening post on the Fremen border, and then we need to get one with Pwn too eventually. Probably can cut Plasteel at this point and maybe get a listening post there. I think we have an intel building here too, yeah, we do. Or an intel perk. Anything for you, Baron. What do you Very close. Kill we'll go pillage boy. this. And let's get a listening post here. Uh, and we can build the mothership now. Let's get the overlord. We'll show those those Fremen who's who's the true true rulers of Arrakis are. Yes. Unearth the free militia. It does count towards the bonus. Yeah, it does. Yeah, dude, let's just get more of that. Why not? Okay, so we have a pretty fat standing army. I mean, I feel like we could do some damage. Uh, Cerberus cannot be seen. Split into two unchained upon death. And attack speed, health per day while in combat. That seems pretty good for them because they're just like, you know, we just want them to eat it. Oh, let's go get our base back. Finally, dude. Jesus. What a, what a tra tragedy that was. That slowed us down so hard, but, you know, it is what it is. The Fremen were pressing me pretty good during that time. I don't know what Pwn's up to up north. Uh, the Chonk is going to start choming again soon, though. Well, we need to push up to 10%. All right. The chum buying prices are quite steep at the moment, though. And cool. So main base is ready. Uh, do we want water? Plascrete. Harvester. Gather rate per... Is it per building in village? Per economy building, which is not that many. So I don't feel that's worth it, probably. But we do need to get that 10%. The water one is always decent. 10%, 10 in fully built villages isn't bad. Um, yeah, let's just take that. Just like even more money. Because we're going to have fully fully built out villages at some point. Oh, it's just like I never lost it, right? The village, see that? It's, it's all online here. Okay, Renegade base. And Glossu, it's it's Glossu in time, dude. We're gonna Glossu all over someone's face. I don't know who it's gonna be, but it's gonna it's gonna happen. Batista is gonna get his revenge from the movies. Uh, yes. <laughs> Did you guys know that Bautista, the actor who plays Robin, he um, you know he actually fought an MMA fight in real life. Isn't that insane? It was pretty haggard, but it was still fun. It's cool that he had the balls to get in there and do it. Especially being, you know, a celebrity who has an image to protect of sorts, right? Your presence commands submission. Oh, look at the Chad freaking flying flying beast ship here. The Overlord, it commands submission. I wonder if I'm going to get assassinated. The Baron should be more cunning than this. Uh, so let's get true training, crew training and get countermeasures. And let's get two of our agents now cut out of lands rad. We're going to take them out of here and out here. And we're gonna go, I feel like the Fremen might try something. Like they showed a lot of aggression and then they just kind of suddenly stopped. It was like, it was some some weird shit. So let's get a missile turret up here and deploy you after we get the crew training program. And it's uh, it's Glosu in time, dude. 
All right, so let's get a couple more Cerberus. I really want to try those bad boys out. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. All right, so the main base is fully developed. So we have 20% max health to military units. And um, we have the Overlord down here. His belly is full of stings, as he says. And let's go see how OP the Fremen are. Because everyone is saying there are these undefeatable war machines. So I want to find out for myself. Robin wants to find out. He didn't get peace for me. So we're going to run in there. Maybe we can win because he doesn't have a, um, a ship. Is kind of my plan. All right. So we're moving. We're going to Limp Biscuit this one. <laughs> rolling, 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 rolling. All right. So here comes Robin's uh, angry revenge. It's actually very thematic for the movie, too. Like when he gets all, he's like, kill everything. You know, and he's all yelling. He's all pissed about the Fremen. Very much in good flavor. All right. So we don't need to do that. Man, these missile turrets are jacked. Oh, my God. Since when are these missile turrets such like middle linebackers? Okay. Let's move in there. Wow. Okay, the worms literally are instant right there. So we could be in danger. Yeah, we're definitely not going to win this. But the good thing about Harkonnens is they have a lot of expendable shit. So we can pop in. Uh, he's going for my base? Or maybe he's just sailing around. I'm not sure. My whole army's like out of supplies too. Let's uh, go ahead and pillage that. And we just take these down, these down, these down, and get our mothership back here. Looks like he's going into my base. Is he going to try and, like, snipe my main or something? No way he could do it that quickly. What's he doing? This is weird. He's, he's like, charging my main base with limited supplies. He had a really nice ambush earlier, so clearly he knows what he's doing. But, um, yeah. Because, like, he's not going to get that much done. I have, I have a ton of militia, and also we'll have an army spawning in soon. We're going to send back the big ship to deal with him as well. Okay, so the Fremen have been slowed a little bit. We're pillaging their village. And here they come. Uh, do I have toxic vapors yet? I don't. Yeah, it's not, not in play. I'm definitely going to try and get Imperial Missionaries. I think I might have the most votes, actually. I do. Oh, no, Smugglers will probably get that. We'll see. If the Smugglers put a bounty on something, I'll definitely vote on them. All right, so let's see. The rally point is right here. He's got a good army, and he crushed my militia there. These guys might make it back afterwards. Is there any bounties on anything? Ooh, yeah. So all factions gain this. We definitely want this right now. Screw the other one. Because I need to get the uh, I need to get the Landsrad witnesses to help deal with the aggression here. Alright. So we just got suddenly like a big army back here. The pill pillage was successful against the Fremen. So we're gonna pull back. He's fleeing now. He's trying to chain liberate things. I don't think that's gonna work. Maybe it will. No, he just left that, so now we can just rebuild the militia. All right, so the mothership should come. This is very, very lore friendly. Like Harkonnen and the Fremen just battling it out is, is, is great flavor. And he's still, like spamming out these armies. Wow, that's really busted. Okay, I think I see what people are saying. I, did, I thought you could only proc that ability once, but it looks like it can proc multiple times. So, I mean, if he liberates that, it's annoying. It's not the end of the world. We do have a gunner here, and the mothership hopefully will help deal with this army. I don't know if we can take him on, though, but we'll find out. Oh, it looks like Robin died over there, too. Yeah, so we're going to rebuild him. Yeah, so I for, I totally, for like for that moment in time, I forgot that hero characters existed. I was like, you know. I don't think he's got a lot of anti-air. He's got those demo teams, which apparently those are the busted ones. Okay, so Robin is on his way back. Let's get the rally point right here. Prepare to party. Um, yeah, we have the flyer here. He looks like he's trying to get away. We have a, now a pretty fat army. We might be able to take him on, so we're going to do it. We're going to try and am ambush him here. He's inciting rebellions in my lands, too. Oh, yeah, there's rebellions all over the place. So we need to stabilize here. All right, let's do this. And then for you guys, we'll do the worm call so they can't escape. We massacre those Fremen. Nice. He's running on, but he's just running to his doom. So we've killed a lot of the Fremen here, for sure. Shai Halud is probably going to eat some of my guys. Keep those guys going. So yeah, we got rebellions here and here that need to be dealt with. So it's nice to know that we can at least fight them off. They're not like so broken that we have no chance, right? Yeah, the gunner is going to keep shooting. We'll keep you, you, and you going like this. Um, that rebellion is going to be dealt with. Let's get a handful of you guys. Yeah, we need to go deal with these rebellions because we, we are just suffering on the uh, on the supplies. 
He must have saved a lot for that, too. Alright, so he's going up there. Getting very, very aggressive. Uh, Robin is on his way back. Let's get some Cerebrus. I don't know how good they are, but they look cool as hell. So we're clearing out the Rebellions here. I'm hoping that's like kind of his hoorah. Like he's not going to be able to just keep doing this. That seems pretty insane if he can. Oh, that village could be in some danger. We probably are going to have to get more missile turrets. Let's get you back to the main base here. Mothership is flying. We've cleared out these rebellions. So let's get you guys back this way. Down here, uh, we could just get a random uh, water building because there's a lot of water there. Oh my god, the Fremen can do... They're so much better than they were before. It's pretty insane. I think we deal with this though when he leaves. Yeah, Robin's on his way back slowly but surely. So he pillaged one of my territories more or less. Uh, did manage to take this one out. So we need to get the maintenance center back online. That region was the Well of Riches one. Yeah. Fuel cells should be taken care of. And looking good. All right. So we're stable. Robin died in the attack. Very flavorful. Uh, he'll be back. What else do we need to rebuild here? Honestly, probably just like random missile turrets. They can definitely scurry around quite a bit. Okay, are the prices still expensive? No. So we can start buying into Chome now. We need to get our Chome operation online. Okay, that one didn't get taken down, which is kind of annoying. Countermeasures will be good. I think, I think, although he's going pretty hard in the military, I think we can hold off on that. And let's get the full, um, the full armory upgrades. We did pillage this base and kill a lot. He's just now rebuilding it. And looks like the harvester should be coming back online. Man, we had to use a lot of manpower there, didn't we? And we have a turret here. I think we had Plascrete here. Oh, we destroyed the refinery. Okay. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. All right. So main base, we got some building options. Um, and yeah, he said we've. People only ask for peace when they're not they're not winning, you know, typically, or or something is going to cause them to start losing. Truce to keep Ekaz in check. We'll see. We'll see. The Baron, the Baron will consider it, but Fremen are pretty busted apparently, so I have to be I have to be on my guard. All right, so that's going to be back. Manpower, we need to get a little bit more. Water, yeah, this region had water too, and that's partially why we went down on the water game. Yeah. Okay, so let's pillage this to get a little bit of something something in the main base. Uh, do we want to get the dew collector? I think the military building stuff is going to be probably the most important. Oh, the interrogation center is an auto take. That's what gives you the brainwashed agents and all that. All right, so let's move back. Uh, what does the Fremen Hedge look like? 14k? Not too scary. Man, these like raids, wherever the hell they're coming from, are really problematic. We need to do probe setup and find these damn sieges and just annihilate them. I have to I have to like get into the Harkonnen role playing for sure. Okay, Robin is back now, so at least I'm gonna have a, a decent little army. And I can take this region too. I need to use my uh expansion. Ekaz isn't even that. Like Pwn's just kinda like AFKing in the corner there. I don't know what he's up to. Alright, let's go clear this out, take this. This is the observatory mountain, which is going to be pretty good. Uh, I got turrets here. No turrets there at the moment. No turrets here. But we could just slap turrets down everywhere to make our base like a huge porcupine. And my knowledge sucks, though. It really sucks. I'm very slow. All right. So that looks fine. Let's get some more heavies in there. And then we get a turret to make sure we don't, you know, give this up easy. You guys get on the base there. Ah, it's the Renegade base that's probably sending attacks in perpetually. All right. So we're back online here. And we can start choming again. The chome prices are pretty low. Not too many people are buying into it. We need some more manpower, though. All right, so we get that. And um, I need to submarine, though. I can't I can't just be, like, a you know, super obvious tyrant here. Let's get some water. Beat those guys down. And um, we're looking pretty worn out over here, unfortunately. So, yeah, we, we are just... We need manpower, which is weird. I didn't think we would need it again, but yeah, we're going to need it again, baby. It's so weird keeping track of a hero character, too. That That's going to take some getting used to. Diplomatic Congress. Um, the Chonk might want the Diplomatic Congress. Well, the Ekaz is already my friend. Fremen, we don't really... Yeah, and the Smugglers aren't really a variable for us. Building costs is cute. We could actually power that out. That would let us build up a lot of our empire very quickly. So I think... Yeah, nobody's even playing politics. Nobody's playing politics and nobody's really playing Chome. 
It's pretty wild. Let's keep buying in here. We're only making 70 right now, which sucks. All right. So infrastructure control, let's go ahead and grab that. Let's put a little vote into it. I'm not gonna go too hard. I'll save some votes for something later, but we'll get that. I feel like they maybe changed the way the spice works a little bit. Okay, so it looks like there was some Fremen descents or they're just basic rebellions. I'm not sure which one. So that's been taken care of. Our army is small as hell right now. So let's get, I could get some harpies. I could just go big air force too. Your upkeep is 11. Let's go like a, we can go harpy. Okay, so you guys get back to the main base. Let's go ahead and evaluate where our airfield network is also. Hopefully our militia, man, our militia are like losing fights all over the place. Yeah, we need to, Robin needs to step up his game, dude, or else Fade's gonna have to come in and handle shit. Uh, all right, so knowledge down here soon. And yeah, we got knowledge. We got the listening post, which is helping a little bit. And let's fly over there real quick. Do this. And why can we not afford more of those? Oh, we don't have fuel cells. One harpy probably isn't even that useful, so we're just gonna get gunners. All right, demo militia. And do we want authority right now? We don't really need it. Huh. Yeah, the barracks is fine. Intel center means we're gonna be able to spam our actions pretty well. So Glossy is gonna come over here and deal with this. And that's gonna give us a little bit. We probably need to start butchering again. Uh, I'm chilling for now. I will respond to him. I don't, I don't wanna scene zone him, you know? All right, let's get some heavies over there. Energy efficiency is, yeah, I don't know why that's like next up on the docket. It should just be this. Then we, where else do we want to go with Harkonnen? Savage cleansing is nice. We can do some probe setups. See if there's any sieges around. I don't think we found a siege there. Our army is quite small. We're actually struggling to keep up in terms of manpower. Our income is okay. Could be better, could be better. But I mean, I feel like we're mostly developed. I guess we don't have the chum support yet, but. Let's keep buying till we get to 10%. So I'm going to try and buy the 10% chum here. Okay, so this region is the one that can do a listening post no matter where it is. I'm being scouted by the... Who's doing this? Uh, it was mine from before, or maybe somebody else did that. I'm not sure. All right. So we go kill this Renegade base, I think. Armory upgrades. Yeah, Adrenaline Addiction will give us the full upgrade panel, which is going to be nice. And then we'll mix in, I think mixing in some Cerberus too is going to be really nice for the armies. It's a little bit scary. Ekaz is sitting at 17.9. Um, I'm at the most hedge right now though, so I need to calm down and not do any more hedge. Otherwise, I'm going to get 3v1 and get steamrolled, so I might even give up a territory, just like relinquish one of them. I don't know. Fremen could ambush us here. Let's get the Worm Call. Let's get Sleeper Agent. Those are both really good. And we have the Mothership coming. Albeit very slowly. And we'll take care of this. So that will uh, hopefully give us some ship parts. In case our main ship dies, we can have some uh, redundancies built into place. Uh, don't know what to build in the main base. Certainly not bad. Fuel cells wouldn't be terrible to get. Okay, so you're tied up in melee. Let's get you back. And let's. I would try Glosu's thing, but I don't want to lose... Um, is this ship even attacking? Kind of looks like it's just sitting there weird oh it is okay i see the little bugs now okay well anyways let's get some executioners and the fremen are trying to assassinate me okay let's uh do the cell search cell search uh okay so we need to cancel this oh no well the good part is if i die early that means we get to do another game today so he's, he's got it's not going to be the easiest but the fremen are uh, are coming for it even after asking for peace how treacherous was that huh super treacherous okay so we need to do cell search and with the Harkonnens, we can actually do something pretty cool. So we're going to do the first one naturally. Thankfully, I do have two on um, counter intel, so that's good. Let's get Lay of the Land, and um, we can do Geothermals, too. That's not a bad tech. All right, so we're going to Cell Search. He's already at... Mm, he's pretty far along there, isn't he? We're going to do this area first, because that's the most obvious, and then over here would be the next. And we can do it instantly with Harkonnens, which is great. Let's get some basic troopers just to help me search things. And do that. It's all about staying calm under pressure when you are being harassed here. 
All right, so this is going to be a good cell search up here. Fremen are coming down there, which means they they want blood. Uh, so if he, yeah, I'm curious what he's going to do. Is if he just occupies this village, that typically means that he's going to most likely. Let's do a cell search here. All right. So do that, do that, do that, and are there any more around here? All right. So those are all getting searched out. Great. And now we can do it again. So we will do a instant speed cell search. And we can just pop this one down here, which is going to reveal a couple more issues. All right. I don't mind losing a border territory down there. It's, it's no sweat off my back. He, he actually even got so bloodthirsty that he like abandoned it. We're going to worm call him here. So he's this guy's got a little blood feud here. He, he wants me. He wants it bad. So we just worm called him. We're going to search this area. And then the only other logical explanation is that it's right here. So I can just abandon that spot and that's going to be fine. So. What is that region? Fuel cells? Must leave combat. Yeah, that's that's like a weird thing how you can't abandon regions when they're when they're under that effect. All right, so those have all been dealt with, which is great, and now we can get you guys coming back here. Fremen army's coming with a big old ambush. I don't know how this is going to go, but let's do this and do sleep regions. Unfortunately, our whole army wasn't together, so we could just get wrecked here. Yeah, the Fremen do seem kind of busted, don't they? Jesus Christ, their armies are insane. So we're learning trial by fire today how just nasty they are. Our mothership might be able to do something. Um, I suspect, yeah, he's just going to camp that. And the mothership is going to keep poking. He doesn't have any anti-air, so maybe we'll be able to do something here. All right. Let's get you. Troopers, just get whatever we can. Try and lure him to the main base. And we got all the cells up here. So clearly it's just down in the bottom here. Uh, all right. So. Going to die. I got to let the others know. Going to die bot. Bot to Fremen, they will hedge after that. Holy shit, Fremen armies are insane, guys. They're insane. So we just need to get down here and stop that somehow. I don't know how that's going to be possible. Can we buy into Chome and get to that 10% So for Mercs? We just saw the Assassin. Yeah, you're going to need three. Yeah, it's pretty nuts how strong they are. Their armies just steamroll you, dude. Let's get Cerberus. Like, this army just literally massacred me. I, uh, my army couldn't do much against it. Uh, Hark is the true villain. <laughs> Fremen really are OP now. Pretty nuts. I see what you guys are saying about even just their basic units. It's it's insane. Oh my god, that's really lucky though. So I can just support this. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, vote for Summit or else we all lose. Not even kidding. Fremen are insane. Oh, this is my only chance here. If this goes down, then we might be okay. All factions suffer. Okay, support. So that got canceled. So, oh God, the gods have smiled on us. The gods of Dune. All right, let's pull him to the main base so he gets like popped a little bit. And he'll just keep dying to my mothership. So we're going to lose one base on the periphery. And that's, uh, that's pretty wild. Okay, man, how do you deal with this faction? They, like, are summoning units out of the sieges, too. All right, so let's keep the uh, Overlord here, and then you guys can come fight here. I just don't have the manpower to handle all this. Oh, vote to stop. Yeah, I did. I did, trust me. Oh, I know. Cerberus, whatever, dude. And look, there's another siege army coming up, too. All right, so we're going to pull back. There's a lot going on here, boys. And look, there's, man, they're just spawning free armies everywhere. It's insane, dude. All right, let's get a missile turret. Oh my god! Oh my god! How do you beat this? No wonder all the lobbies are banning Fremen. Jesus, dude! Look how many free units he has! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dear God in heaven! Hopefully he'll just run out of supplies because he's just aimlessly wandering around my lands. Jesus Christ! All right, Robin. Okay, Robin is doing it. The only reason we are like we survived that long is because we had the mothership, but he was even able to kill that. All right, let's get Robin back now. And um, we have the worm call, maybe, but the problem is Ekaz is probably going to win, actually. If Pwn wins, that's that's going to be pretty hilarious. All right, so let's make some more units. Let's show him a little bit, try and get to that 10%. And he's leaving now. 
And uh, this Fremen, this Fremen like position is just so foul. Okay, that's gonna put us to 10%, so we should be able to spam out Mercs now. We can get some Mercs in a pinch, at least, and try and shoot him off the point. Uh, let's see the Worm Call here. Hopefully he'll like, you know, quit having so much fun at our expense. He's gonna get shy looted by something, I think. Okay, these mercs just get absolutely clowned on by these Fremen. <laughs> Jesus, dude! We tried to warn you. Yeah, they're busted as hell, dude. I know, well, I thought maybe the lobby would recognize that, but I don't think they have. Okay, so let's try and get Glosu away. He's in the main base now, and uh, we can make mercs, but dude, we're just like out of steam. There's not a whole lot you can do. Uh, you will lose if you stay. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's gonna... Oh my god, dude, they're so foul. Let's see. If you take those bases, uh, I will not help you. So we're gonna politic a little bit here. If he takes the bases, we're just in huge trouble, right? So we can't afford to lose those. And, uh, you know, it's going to be on him. Uh, oh, I do. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see what he wants to do. Okay, let's make Glosu back. Let's get some Cerebrus. Let's fight here. And it looks like the... It's coming in. Okay. Oh, no, I thought that was the... Yeah, it was the assassination cancel. Dude, even the Fremen militia are just kicking my ass. Oh, my God. Look how strong those guys are. Okay, we need to get Space and Guild going. You guys, uh, Pwn probably will just win because nobody's dealing with him. I think. Even in solo play, they're impossible to fight. Dude, they're so busted. Yeah. Still not gonna help you. Alright. He's got it. You gotta let it go. The Baron will not help. The Baron is not... You know, it's my only chance to keep this ground, dude, if I keep losing these bases. All right, so we're gonna move down here. Okay, we'll do this. Yeah, oh, those are mercs. Fair play, those are mercenaries, so he did he did not defend it with his army. Holy shit, dude, how do we deal with the Fremen? Does anybody have any tips on how to fight them? I just can't see it. We did manage to get up to 10% chome, which is good. So we got that going for us. Uh, let's just start pillaging, try and get some manpower and try and get some, you know, assets under our feet here uh let's get the spice harvester here these guys aren't geared out we just need a lot of manpower at this point point. and then for this could do a little airfield down here but that's probably not going to be super helpful okay they they weren't kidding about fremen being super op i gotta watch out all right so heading north i think we just grabbed the middle at this point and Lay of the Land is up. So we're up to 21 Knowledge, which is certainly not as good as our Vernius runs. Uh, energy efficiency is okay. <sighs> Maybe, like, assassinating is, like, the only way we can potentially do it. We'll try and get Chome support at this point. We could build a main base building as well. And we're going to head up to the middle and just grab whatever we can. We don't want to be sitting on 500 Authority, right? So let's go pillage this. And then we just need to re-grab all these regions as soon as we can. That one will be free soon-ish. And, um, yeah, I think the Fremen can... Yeah, Toxic Vapors might be... Is it still in the game? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we need two on the Spacing Guild. Yeah. Toxic Vapors would be good, but they can just move out of it and go kill another village, right? Robin has just been getting circle beaten, like, nonstop this entire game. All right, let's get you guys. And um, we need to assign here and go safe mode. And for you... Let's go ahead and... Do we just take this? I don't think so. Go use that OP army to stop Ikaz. <laughs> I, need to get, I need to work him to my will, dude. Oh my god, I got punished so badly. Okay. And uh, let's get Demo Militia. And what does he want from me? I mean, there's nothing that the peace treaty won't... It just gives me Landsrat, if anything, so I can keep resurrecting Robin after he just gets massacred over and over by the Fremen. <laughs> it's very, very much in good flavor, for sure. All right, let's get the intel building here. Uh, we do have the cost reduction. I need to just get my economy back online, dude. 
Yeah, the Well of Riches, losing that was unfortunate, but what can you do? Toxic Vapors might be one of the few ways you can do it. Um, all right, so Chum Support, and then maybe we go for Spying Mastery, Nefarious Contracts, and try that. We know the Fremen have the assassination. That wasn't too hard to get out of, except for that corner territory. All right, so Authority per Controlled Village. Let's see if we can just take this away and get those for later. I'm going to let the Fremen and the Smugglers deal with Pwn, because I need to just get back on my feet after taking that colossal beatdown. All right. So Robin is back. I don't know if he can, like, solo... Oh, no, 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 no. Keep the assassins away. Oh, God. Can Robin solo that many units, I wonder? He might just get circle beaten by them. I'm not sure. Okay, so we clear that out. Did I get gear rigged for real? Who gear rigged me? It's probably Pwn. That's fine, though. I'm not even going to attack Bone, so it makes no difference to me. Robin trying to tank it like a champ, but he's kind of having some issues here. It'd be interesting to look at all the heroes and see like who the strongest ones are. All right, so let's go over here and clear this out. Um, as far as this goes, yeah, it's all developing. We got a little bit of dough. Let's buy buy some Chome. The Fremen are going to need to go deal with Pwn. And, dude, that Fremen army should steamroll anyway. Like, I, I Like, he shouldn't need my help. Unless it gets really close. I mean, if Pwn jumps up, jumps up to 25, I'll consider maybe helping, but... And then we'll recap these territories. Uh, should be free soon. That one's free again, so we're going to go grab that. Although it feels kind of foolish getting anything near the Fremen. I'm just like, ooh, they're just going to come murder, murder hobo me. Murder hobo. Um, recycling vats. Uh, health to military units. We probably need... You know, do we want the fuel cells? Yeah, let's get the fuel cells for now. All right, team. Yeah, it's it's very, very uh, accurate to the lore, that's for sure. Okay, so we'll get some Cerberus too. Get some troopers. We need to get all, our full armory upgrades too, by the way. And, um, all right, so we can get the red fluid, yeah. And for you, yeah, we can do that. The red fluid seems fine. So we're just going to go, like, all-out DPS murder hobo on these guys and see if that works. Okay, this is the one that they split into two, right? Yeah, the Unchained Cerberus. So we have that. On reaching no health, lose one stack of Bloodthirsty. Okay, that keeps some... Yeah, so we're just going to go for, like, the damage. The big damage. On all these guys. Fremen have got to be doing something. I, I, They've got to be moving up there, right? It, it's very lore-accurate Fidekin, it is. <laughs> I was hoping it wouldn't be that lore accurate, but it sure sure is, man. And I had, like, adequate military tech, too. It wasn't like I was hurting too much there. Um, our knowledge sucks so bad. It's so haggard. Okay. Getting territories so I can compete. Use your Dread Legion. I saw what they can do. We're ready, Baron. Okay. Uh, I will attack once I re-secure. Yes. Okay, so we're going to grab it. It's up to him, because I want to have a chance of winning this game. And if I don't grab territory and I just sit on maximum authority, we don't have any chance. So I need to grab what I can. Uh, let's do that. And Toxic Vapors will be pretty useful. Scavenger teams. All right. And we are being harried here, so we need to go back there and deal with that. Let's do this. All right. All right. And then we will just go north. Smugglers can do stuff, too. Smugglers can also attack. It is lore accurate. It really is. Okay, you guys. Let's go beat down these dudes. Okay, so we got this region. We got the free Robin Militia, which is pretty cool. Uh, we don't have any water, though, at the moment, so we need to get some water. He took all... He, most of my water territories got canned. I think that's something that he's not realizing. Oh, man. These, these guys. Yeah, that red fluid, I mean, certainly stacks up their damage, but my army dies quick. <laughs> They die, they die so fast. Oh, my God. But the damage they do is pretty legit. So when they get out of combat, they're going to be fine. Gunners and Cerberus. Okay, looking good. So we got that region back. 
outstanding, and then we can grab this region here in a moment. Can we get it? Yeah, we can. Nice. So we just need to heal up here real quick. Damn worm calls coming in. Robin, try not to get eaten by worms. And uh, worm call and sleep agent. Okay. I swear, if, if Glossu gets eaten again by the worm, I'm going to be so upset. Okay. I don't see you moving north either. Yeah, if we see a little something from him, maybe I'll be more persuaded here. You need to get the militia back online. Where is he? Okay, he's already there. Cool. I'll be on my way. All right, so we're on our way. The rebellions are trolling us here, shutting down our spice production. Nobody's playing Chome, so we might as well buy up to that, but the amount of money we're making isn't great. Uh, we need to get fuel cells. I might need to honestly whip out nukes to defeat the Fremen. <laughs> is this a nuke game? Yeah, we're going to build the Overlord as soon as we get our uh, fuel cells back online. Yeah. Yeah, so he just annihilated Pwn's army. Just super casually, just just steamrolled an entire ECAS army that had a whole game to develop. Let's grab the siege here. Yeah. Who gear regged me, by the way? Who did that? Who did that? Oh, it was Pwn. Okay. All right, so this region's looking good. We got that, and then we can get the money coming back online here. So this is looking good. We're getting a little something something. Cerberus and company are grinding, but man, we are uh, we are not strong right now. That beating we took really set us back pretty hard. We are severely deficient in manpower, despite having quite a few manpower buildings. So we got to use this opportunity to go and try and, you know, ninja a side base from Hold Pwn Dog. Fremen are taking this one, but we can go up there and do that, and then I need to break the non-aggro pact with them now. All right. So we're heading up here. We're going to go attack this side base. We still have a little bit of time, but the problem is I don't want to feed Pwn Hedge either. So hopefully his armies are going to be a little bit beat up. Okay, 10% military health. Yeah, we'll definitely jump on that. And what do we get right now? Authority per controlled village? Yeah, that's not, that's not bad. Chome Dilution. Uh, cell search for free is actually probably pretty good because he's probably setting up an assassination on me. So I think that would probably be smart. We actually could start winning some offices too. I we might have to just all all team up and nuke the Fremen. It's right. <laughs> they're they're uh, no joke. All right, let's get some more demos in there and let's get this. And we probably need to get an airfield down there next. All right. So Robin and company are gonna head over here. This feels a little bit too similar to the movies. Ecas is immune and dear to the minor houses, so we'll support that. Is it? Oh, it's only if it passes. Okay. And then we'll support this too. I'm going to hold on to the rest of my votes. And yeah, our lands rides at 320. It's not bad. It ain't bad. And um, up top, we have a little bit of this. So probably, yeah, the listening post there is probably adequate, but another manpower building, I think, is what we need. All right. So that's coming together. We're going to attack Bone up here. Fremen have obviously taken taken him. I mean, as if as if they needed my help. Watch us die to this militia here. We're just gonna be like, I'm too weak. <laughs> Bone's just gonna farm us. All right. Uh, and this one is being oppressed, but we don't have militia in it. Okay, so we're attacking the side with our haggard force. I don't think he realized how badly he beat us up. He's like wondering why, but we got beaten up pretty bad. Okay, so Robin is giving an AoE buff to all the boys now. Let's do a little scavenger teams here. I mean, you might need to do more. You may need to do more. I am attacking also. Alright, so let's take this region. And let's kill all these. Hopefully they hotfix Fremen this week, though, because it's a shame that the cool one of the coolest factions is just so busted. Because they're so fun to play. Oh, yeah, that siege needs to be taken down. Okay, so we don't have any way of healing here. We're very damaged at the moment. We do have some manpower back. Are we just going to have to make, like, friggin' troopers and shit? 
We're just going to have to literally make troopers, I think. Or mercs. We might have to just send a merc army up here. Because Pwn could just come and remove me out of the equation, that's for sure. I don't have a whole lot. I have the two assassins waiting in the wings. Um, we're working on the sneaky, sneaky stuff. So let's go ahead and do the um, take you out of lands, Rad. Okay, take these down, and then we need to go to factions. Do this. Man, my guys are like dying because they're in combat. So like, if I'm like killing his buildings, it's like it's it's hurting me here. Which is pretty funny. Pwn's at 26k, but I don't think. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh. Ugh! Classic Raven. As soon as a big army shows up, you just run. <laughs> oh. All right, we need to get another set of troops back together if we can. Let's build some combat drones. I'm just desperate. I just need whatever I can get. And uh, down here. All right. Uh, I've been pushed back. Okay. Oh, that's right. We need to get the rally point up here, by the way, too. So rally point can be up here. That's really nice. So, yeah, the Fremen are still attacking, it looks like. They're still going. I have no idea what the smugglers are doing, by the way. I have no idea. The Overlord is nearby, though. Oh, Pwn's coming for blood. Oh, God. If he does, he might be able to kill the ship, actually, if he's not careful. No, he's, he's, not. he's paying attention. Uh, let's get some mercs. Just some ranged mercs. Just whatever, at this point. Get some Cerberus. Get a big army. Hopefully, the Fremen are doing something. Probably getting pretty close. I have no idea what the smugglers are doing. Absolutely no idea. So no cell search. EMP bomb isn't that useful. I don't want to fight him because he might get champion hedge off me. So I need the other guys. I need to wait for a full army before we try and fight. Jonathan, thanks for becoming a channel member. Hopefully you're watching me get karate chopped today. Oh, the first game was really close. First game was good. This one's been a bit of a... This was like This is like exactly like the movie, this game. Uh, I'm sitting at 417. My hedge is decent at 22. Problem is, as soon as Pwn's dead, the Fremen are going to come for me. They're going to come get me. Okay, Glosu, do we lead a charge up here? Need to get some more heavies here. Oh, his army's so good. Is it? Is it just the knight there, though? Is the Fremen guy attacking? Sounds good. <laughs> My favorite was earlier when the Fremen guy asked for asked for peace with me, and then an assassination attempt just comes in, <laughs> like two seconds later. It's so it's so flavorful. All right. Uh, how are we looking on our levels? Okay. Set that up. Anything for you, Baron. We'll do that. Pone, Pone's going. I don't want to feed him hedge off my my dying units. That's what I'm scared about. I'm definitely nervous about that. Um, we do not have a supply drop either. So the decoy thumper probably we can cut that. We need a supply drop so we don't die to that shit. We're about to get more agents also, and down here we can just get a listening post, probably a research hub. At this point though, I just feel like it's like too late to be really efficient. So let's get a nuke. Oh no, that space, space is already filled out. Okay, so let's just get a little bit of money. We want all our villages to be fully built because we have the building for that. So that's pretty important. Um, and here we could get the nuke down here, but that's so easy for the Fremen to just come in and take. And it's so easy for them. Listening post is fine. Are the Fremen attacking? Waiting for you to hit. I don't want to feed him hedge. All right, so that looks fine. I might be able to get in. Because I know the Fremen army will annihilate, will annihilate Pwn. But me, I don't know how it's going to go. It's a little bit dodgier. Is he going in? Okay, the Fremen look to be attacking, maybe. Pwn's army is split in a couple spots. So let's go here and attack. Yeah, I, I think we just push. Let's just go. Let's just go full Haggard Harkonnen here. Sleeper agents. And this. 
And Glo Glossy is going to just give the drugs to the boys. Okay, we killed one of his champs, it looks like. That's nice. Okay, so Glossu just gave drugs to all my units, so they're going to just be his thralls, and they're just going to be super pimping now. See, so yeah, I can't control my range units, I don't think. Yeah, they're just going to just shoot. Okay, the Fremen are also attacking over there, which is good. Uh, oh, man, my base. Uh, there's a little haggard. Uh... Need to get a couple of you guys here, actually. Uh, so let's set the rally point back here. And we can do a couple of these. Okay. All right, so hopefully they'll get there. We do beat Pone's army pretty decisively, but it wasn't his full army, so, you know, it's not as exciting. Governorship, lands ride witnesses. Chum buying price thing would be pretty annoying for me, so I need to buy some Chum shares while I can. We're just gonna deny this. Use the lag to move the boat. Oh my God. Build one major building. Okay, so the Fremen uprising thing, pretty troll. Uh, I'm going to just deny this with most of my votes. Nobody's like playing politics at all here. Uh, let's do that. Oppose that. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's a champion. So if we kill that musketeer, I believe that's a champion. It's hard to tell. All right. So how are we looking? We got the two assassins in the wings. We need to take this territory for ourselves. I think that's a champ. Hard to tell, but I think we're going to get him here anyways. What do you need? Yeah, okay. We just killed his champion and set him back on hedge. Baron. So we're going to go heal and then come back because our army is super damaged. Okay, the militia have come and dealt with that. Oh no, the lands chad guards that we got there did. A lot of my army is like fake units too. So his hedge has been brought into to check. Uh, where can I get a nuke? Where do I want to set up the nuke? We could do it here. Maybe just get rid of the spice silo and then just slap down a fat nuclear silo. It's go time, man. If we can't beat the Fremen with normal tactics, we have to use the, the good old family atomics, right? Rally point is going to be here. Cerberus, gunners. On duty. Okay, the Landsrad guards, thankfully, were able to clear that out. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to be next. I can't, I don't know if I can take him alone, so I don't want to cripple Pwn too badly. Yeah, I did kill one of the champs. Yeah, he went down. That champ had, had a lot of farming on it. Had a lot of farming. All right, so we're going to go get this village. And the rally point is now going to be up here. Let's go ahead and get this village all sauced out with heavies. Because now that we're killing things again, you know, we're getting some decent, um, let's do the supply drop here and get these combat operations ready. Robin's just handing out the goodies to all the boys. For you, Baron. We're ready, Baron. Harkonnens can re recruit troops very quickly, too. Very, very quickly. Uh, sleeper agent's really good. Alright, so let's just take this base for our own. It's a nice little base. It is going to put us like really close to Pwn. In terms of hedge, and I'm expecting a Fremen attack, like, really soon. I, I would wager he's going to switch and attack me here in a minute. Okay, rebellions have been dealt with. Let's uh, go ahead and just take the free unit. And, yeah, for, uh, these guys, the Harkonnens aren't very good at... Um, what's that here? So they're on counter intel. Uh, Space and Guild, yeah, we can take them off. We should be getting more agents now. Okay, do another one of these. And yeah, this would be a nice region to get. He might come back and, you know, take it from us, though. We're ready, Baron. This is a what? This is a craft workshop special region? Yeah, looks like what it. Yeah, Harkonnens are good. They've, they've always been solid. Let's get Landsrad. Let's buy a little bit of Chom. I kind of want to leave Pwn, like, on the edge of being the Cackle Monster. Uh, let me message him. I will leave you this base. We need to team Fremen. So insane. So I'm, I'm politicking with Pwn. I'm not going to take his base. Unfortunately, my Unchained boys are doing it. Can someone please do something? Uh, he's in good shape. Yeah, Pwn and I are pretty much neck and neck on Hedge now. So I'm like, we're basically the same thing. Uh... 
I was on other side. I took his army out for you. Baron. The Fremen guy is getting pretty hyped. He's getting pretty hyped. But if I take that, then I become the biggest nail to get hammered down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the Fremen are just absolutely bullying Pwn. No surprises there. All right, we better load up the... The Fremen army is disgusting. He says, yeah, Pwn's learning the hard way. <laughs> He's learning what we learned earlier. All right, I don't even know if these little drones are worth it. Still waiting on the nukes? Dude, the nukes are... It's building right now. It's, it's on its way. The problem with doing nukes is it completely shuts us out of the chome. And nefarious activity should be finishing soon. And then we can consider an assassination attempt. Although, how many agents do we have right now? Eh, not too many. I think we'll get some basic troopers just to save money. And um, our harvesters are getting killed, so we need to make sure we have ornithopters on them. Oh, I, I saw him sitting there, so I assumed he was fine, but it looks like he wasn't. So this one's good, and then this one needs um, a couple of you, and we need to get a harvester on it too and put it in safe mode. All right, so now we just wait for the inevitable Fremen punishment that's going to come for us. Uh, let's see. All right, so we're heading back. Uh, that looks fine. Oh, um, yeah, Fremen is like the kiss of, of this game now. Yeah, for sure. Oh, do we load up a fat nuke? Yes, we do. <laughs> it's the only way to deal with them, I'm telling you. It's the only way. And then we just go for a hedge victory, I guess. Uh, Fremen are gonna definitely fly out somewhere. I don't know why he paused the game. He's he's probably gonna try and kill Pwn. If he attacks me, I'm ready to intercept. He hasn't broken the non-aggression though, so. Glosu is just clutching his pearls in his base like, oh my God, the Fremen, <laughs> they're coming. All right, so why can I not fly here? Must be an airfield range, what? Okay, let's get you on there, and then we can fly up here and hopefully deal with this. There's no, is there no airfield here? Oh, there's not. Okay, that's weird. I don't know why it like showed as an airfield though. All right, so let's get the, uh, yeah, we can get the stuff for the the goods. Probably should have gotten local hubs a long time ago. The Fremen are going to start playing the hedge game too. Yes, got a third infiltration cell. Oh my god. Sandstorm stopping the airfield, yes. I need to grab something though, but I'm a little bit nervous about doing it because the Fremen are going to just attack me if I do. So I, I guess I can just kind of sit and hang out. You don't want to be the, the nail that gets hammered down, right? We're getting a lot of agents. Um, let's slap you up here. Put you here. And uh, see what we can make happen. Maybe getting the research post is good. I'm going to have a nuke at some point here. Let's just hang out. I think he's... Is he trying to kill Pwn? I'm not sure what he's up to. How much money is he sitting on? So the Fremen player is sitting on... 7.8k. Pretty rich, actually. Fremen are good at economy now, too. So Diplomatic Congress... Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to get Fremen with this and hope, hopefully they don't come and just kill me because I could die at my main base right now with the architectural surveys. So I'm going to try and get them with the spice. Slow them down a little bit. <laughs> he, wants, he wants to kill you guys. <laughs> oh no, dude. It's just like, oh man. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> this has been a good game though, man. I, I, I have learned... You know, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, the Fremen can't, no, it can't be that bad. But like the amount of like things that layering effects they can have that are just super punishing are uh, pretty, pretty nuts. Okay, so the defenses are holding firm up there. We have plus 27 at the moment, despite having a spice exchange rate of four, which is pretty nuts. Um, okay, back up to 288. Great. Uh, fuel cells are doing good. Tyranny has to has to be kept in check. What do you need? It's not you. It's the faction. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so we got you, you, and um, this region as well. All right. So next up, yeah, we do need a little land shad, don't we? So we'll get those land shad levels. All right, so Pwn and I are basically tied. <laughs> Nuke his army and hit Pwn's. <laughs> then I'm just, I straight up cannot chom if that happens, you know? That's the problem. That's the problem. Might as well grab this little territory here. And we're pulling back. Let's get some more units. Cerberus, not bad. And some gunners, yeah. All right, we need to max out our army. I have these two, having these two characters here is really clutch. Like the fact that I have two of those is just money and this little like band where I can run across is very, very nice. So we're just gonna wait for that and then scheme it out. Okay, so I have a nuke now. <laughs> I have a nuke, all right? I got the nukes. If he comes at me, it's, hap it's gonna happen. Oh, but then I just can't buy Chom, that's so haggard. All right, we're at 20% Chom. Pwn and I are just kind of both of us playing possum a little bit. Uh, I hate sitting on 500 authority, but like I do not want to be the one who gets attacked and swarmed. Get these troopers down here. So what do we have here? Yeah, the beyond death and attack speed. We basically just have a, our armies are just like meant to die and replenish quickly. All right, so do we have the savage cleansing yet? We don't have that. When we get that, it's pretty good. We can go massacre the siege. What does it actually do here? Yeah, 100 authority and immediately reveals another siege. That's pretty cool, they changed that. So you can like chain punish sieges, um, which I like. All right, so we need three on the levels here. So that's creeping. I cannot wait to annihilate that siege. The Harkonnen rage boner sits quite firm and ready. Nobody wants to climb. I do not know what the smugglers are doing, by the way. They've just been like absent in the corner the entire time. Oh, the Fremen have been butchering us, dude. Pwn's army's getting chain butchered. My army's... <laughs> it's, it's, it's very lore-friendly. It's great. You know, I hope, hopefully it gets bounced a little bit, but... Okay, so he's, he's trying to get me again. So we're going we're gonna to just do a, a good old-fashioned cell search. We can do it instantly, too, which is really nice. So we'll do this. And then, um, yeah, that's looking great. Let's go up here. And then we can sacrifice another agent for another cell search. And do that. Great. Master. Yes, master. Did he even do anything up here? He did. Looks like can. it. Okay. Anything to please you. Looks like no. Maybe some back here as well. Let's do another one more cell search here. Should be A-OK. -okay. We need to fly our army in. He's probably going to ambush and just kill my entire army here. Baron. Now, why can I not do this here? Do I not have an airfield down there? Could have sworn I did. It's showing the airfield. I don't. Okay, I don't have one. That's the problem. But the Fremen are trying to assassinate me. So let's go clear this out. And um, you assassins can go investigate here. Yeah. So the assassins can be used to investigate, which is pretty nice. So I suspect it's it's all in the bottom and the south and stuff. All right, and then we obviously have one here too. Baron, we'll do as you order. Oh. Robin's gonna stay there so he doesn't die with his army when the Fremen ambush me right now. And um, what did I not hit? I think I didn't hit back here. Yeah, so we'll check that out too. You just gotta stay calm during these. Have you made a decision? All right. What do you need? Frem assassinating me. I gotta, I gotta, uh, gotta let the lobby know. A call to arms of sorts. Oh shit, I'm gonna miss my spice tax. Wow, how did I miss my spice tax? Really? Ah, eh, it's all good. We're gonna lose some spice exchange rate, but it could be worse. For you, all right. So yeah, we're gonna try and shut down all the cells. Yes, my lord. That's one down. I'm on the clock. And we need to investigate up here. We do. Okay. All right, do this, Toxic Vapors, Sleeper Agents, and do that. And then can we abandon this village? Yep, we're going to abandon it because now he can't get us with the um, the assassination. I don't mind losing a village there either. 
So abandoning that village was pretty good, and we do get a lot of damage against his army, but we didn't have our full army there because we were scattered out, you know, obviously investigating. But if he had been able to lock that village down, we would have, um, he would have been able to just cheese us with that. Yeah, likely so. All right, so let's get the Toxic Vapors and get all the nice upgrades again. He canceled the assassination. See, so that was, that was good. Yes, yeah, the Spice IRS is going to kick my butt, they are. And yeah, I'm down on fuel cells too. But we did stop his assassination. Um, Pwn's going to win now. Uh, yeah, we stopped it. That assassin prob gave old Ekaz the game here. I think it's true, yeah, because we abandoned that. But now Ekaz is probably cackling a little too hard. We're going to gather all our units. At least Raven survived being a coward, which is lovely. So let's set the rally point here, and we're going to get a bunch of mercs. And uh, let's just recruit. So we need a front line again. Okay. Yes. We have you guys hanging out. We had to abandon a territory, which feels bad, but it is what it is. Oh, I am. I don't know why the game blurs out something. So water regulation would be pretty good. All factions suffer. Because that is going to... Um, what else can we get? We can get supply drop too. Let's get our overlord up there. We're going to have to take this base. Uh, uh, it's, ble it's bleeped out. What is he, what is he saying? He's saying, I swear. I have no idea what this gentleman's saying. Vote for me as in, what does he want? I can't see it. What does this guy want? So let's go ahead and close this. Uh, the assassins, Lanzard Punishers appear at the main base, the elected faction gets it. I'm probably just going to take those for myself. Although maybe we give those to the Fremen so he can go base night pwn. That would probably be a good idea. And all factions suffer that. Yeah, that's fine. I have, I have plenty of extra. So we'll put some votes into that too. Alright, so we'll give the Fremen the Punishers. And we're going to gather an army and push. We'll see if it's too late. Uh, I do not have fuel cells at the moment. Yeah, unfortunately, we got cut off down there. Should be able to get those back at some point, but don't know when. I'm going to walk through your territory. Send non-aggro, then. Send non-aggro? All right. I am going to hit it. Or you go. Or you go. Stronger army. Stronger army. I think uh, Pwn is. I think what how Pwn is winning is he's farming the um, he's farming the, uh, the 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 smugglers. He wants a vote. Yeah, I think we we gave him. Yeah, the the punishers went to you. Okay, let's just get a bunch of crappy troopers just to, just to fight here. So where where are the smugglers, the Fremen, going? Because well, he's going to run out of time. So he's going to the White Rift. Which is here. Let's send it on aggro pact. It's 140 to send it on aggro pact with MGs. So here he comes. He's going to Pwn's base. I wish I could get an on aggro pact with him so I could help, because it just kinda Yeah, the Fremen are jumping up now. Uh I will get Rift. You go north. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this because otherwise I'm just not doing anything, right? It's like I need to I need to be active. Oh, Pone has oh Pone got diplomatic congress. Okay, can we break the pact with him? Yeah, we can. So Pone's army's coming here. Oh my god, my nuke got disabled by a sandstorm, I think, or something. Oh no, it's just I don't have fuel cells. Okay, so the this ship just sucks. So we're just gonna delete that so then I can nuke him. Oh, so tempting. All right, so we're going to move in with Robin's boys. But the Fremen army is going to go take his other territory. So if you could just keep him here, that's good. Man, the nuke is so tempting, but then I'm just like out of the game with Chome. I need to see where he's fighting here. Okay, so Pwn's getting several reg regions taken. And now he's going here. <laughs> oh, the temptation is real. Where is he fighting? Is he over here? 
I'm going to do scavenger teams there to make a little bit of money. And we need to do a probe setup so I can see what's cracking. Okay. Okay, the fight's happening over there. We're going to come to the south here and take this out. The Fremen are, the Fremen are annihilating him. Okay, I sh should have seen that coming. Uh, and now we're going to get this region, the White Rift. We'll take it over for ourselves. Cool. Let's take it. And um, we can just go down here and heal. Most of the armies. Is there an airfield here? We need to kill that. So let's kill the airfield if we can. Does he have one? He does. Okay, there it is. So then he won't be able to run over here so easily. All right, so let's slap you down. We can start this at some point once we have a little bit more intel. Pone's got 26k. Ooh, man, he's at, he's really close to winning. I need to find his army and nuke it. Okay, we're going to do that. If As long as we get this off, we're going to drop a fat nuke and see if we can catch his army slipping. Looks like the Fremen lost that fight, which I'm surprised. Pwn must have had a, a good position. So the spice taxes are coming through. All right. Oh, God! I need to nuke a champion. Oh, we're going to get a champion. We're going to get his champs. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> yes! We got his champions, baby. Let's go. All right, Robin. Do some drugs. Oh, we nuked his champion. All right, Robin. Cowardly flee. Holy shit. That was funny. <laughs> oh, you guys wanted it. Pwn got nuked. The prophecy is fulfilled. All right, but now I'm basically just a shitter in the dumps. I have traitor. I have like all the negative. <laughs> I have all the negative effects on me. All right, let's start that going too. How about another nuke? You thought one was enough. Uh, okay, so I'm basically just a turd at this point. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and gather here. Hopefully the Fremen can handle him from this point. We got two of his champions. But, I mean, I think my chances of winning this are probably, uh, certainly not looking good. Okay, so let's rally our troops. Robin survived like the true coward he is, which is great. Uh, let's do probe setups. So we can scout. Pwn got the razzle-dazzle nuke. Hopefully the Fremen can do it. Uh... I nuked champions. Yeah, I'm, if anybody says I'm not helping, then they can just, they can just, you know, get that bullshit out of here. That nuke is just the ultimate selfless. The Baron is just being a, a, a kind, charitable, you know, he's doing, he's doing it. Right, I got this in the back pocket too, which is going to be really funny if that works. But, unfortunately, I don't know how that's going to go. Alright, we're just going to grab some territory here, because why the hell not? And do we have an airfield down here? We don't. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this and get an airfield down here so we can fly around a little bit better. we got a big bald army coming. The Harkonnens are always depicted as bald in these. Uh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> the evil bald. Alright. So, we get this base. It's not like a threatening one. Are the Fremen, like, attacking me? Why are you like this? Okay, Robin's still alive. It's fine. We're just going to go to the south. It's, if he wants that so bad, it's it's okay. He can have it. But Pwn probably is going to be okay. He's, there is an assassination going on right now. I Look at all these negative effects here. At least I'm going to pay my taxes and be back in the, um, in the green there. The whole red fluid build is pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Uh, all factions suffer, cancels all current assassination attempts. I'm going to vote that just in case I'm getting assassinated. <laughs> and now I can't buy Chome anymore. Oh, <laughs> bald men always turn to villainy. <laughs> all right, let's grab this. Let's grab whatever we can at this point. So definitely, what's your assassin attempt at? Oh, that's right. I have to deny the Imperial Summit. He's dead in three days. Uh, I, I love how Shoop is typing that publicly. Okay, so let's support, uh, deny this. Oppose. What is the smuggler guy doing? 
Okay, so we're opposing that. I did. I did. That get canceled. Oh, we got opposed, man. He's lucky. He's lucky that it still got opposed. That could have actually been a win for old Pwn Dog there. Alright. Have you made a decision? So guys, it's it's time. <laughs> All right, Robin, the cowardly Robin. <laughs> so Pwn is going to die in a couple days. It looks like. I'm on the clock. Good, it's still on, he says. Yes. Yes, good. Good, Anakin, good. Goddamn rebellions? Snakes on a plane? How are we looking here? God, we have like no water whatsoever. I wonder if you can make it across the desert here. We're, ready, Baron. We're gonna have to see. All right, so let's just get a knowledge post because why the hell not? A little little research never hurt anybody. I'm on the clock. Taking position. Rip to Pwn. Yeah, Pwn's gonna die here. And then um, we need to keep you on that for a little bit of authority. We have another nuclear warhead ready. Chad Pwn almost got there. But it looks like he's been taken down. So now I just need to go all in on this. Yes. Yes. What do you need? What do you need? Okay, Smugs. Now we die. <laughs> I have to like play like we don't have a chance. Be like, yeah, it's all over. God, I need to get rid of all these stupid freaking notifications up here. Jesus. Okay. Just say the word. So heading over there. And um, that looks fine. Let's cut you. Get another one of these. Baron. I don't think this Fremen player realizes how strong that his faction is. He's the way he's typing. It's like it's uh, unless he's just politicking. Has it been detected? It's undetected still. That's great. We're ready, Baron. A strategic move. A strategic move. Anything for you, Baron. Where's my Where's my rally point at? Okay. Yes. Let's see how this goes. Let's move in there. We have a lot of intel, which is good. GG Pwn, you were you were uh, you were our my savior basically, because without you, I would have um, I would have just gotten karate chopped. All right. So he still hasn't. Oh, he's detected it now. So homeboy knows. So we're gonna go and like fight and die, and just nuke him and shit. Yes. Yes. Get get him. <laughs> All right. So he's he's doing desperation cells right now for sure. The cursed Fremen rebellions. Oh, uh, that's a regular rebellion. Okay. Thankfully, I can just keep spamming these. Harkonnens have really good intel. So. You guys ready to watch me get massacred? This is my favorite part in the movie. Let's go attack this middle village. I'm just trying to bait him into a nuke. And I'm going to nuke both of our armies. <laughs> the fact that you can rally point the um, villagers now is pretty nuts. Or rally point the um, assassins too. Okay, so he's checking here. Let's do this. Anything for you, Baron. On our way. Trying to keep him from checking here. I don't know what units he's checking with. Maybe his own assassins. Where is your army, buddy? Where is where is his army? He's still checking somehow. I don't know how he's doing it. Jesus Christ, that army got just absolutely annihilated. I, I don't know if I like the red fluid upgrade. I'm a little bit on the fence about it. Okay. Awaiting order. So we're dealing with some rebellions. Let's get the rally point here. Did Glosu survive? Oh, I didn't even bring him. That's why he lived. Classic Glosu. Yeah, it was it was for the win. For the win. And let's get this and get another assassin going. And another supply drop. 
Yeah, he still hasn't found the other two cells. Looks like this one has been found. I think I can nuke him off the cell, actually, which is kind of funny. You ready to go full lunatic here? Yeah! <laughs> That's one way to stop him from checking his cell. <laughs> oh my god. What? How did that Finakin survive a nuke? No way. Ignores. Did that. Did he literally just tank a nuke with a single unit? Oh, that's so busted if that's the case. Oh my god. Did that guy just survive a nuke? Are you serious? Baron. We're ready, Baron. Anything to please you. Oh, that's so freaking OP, dude. Moving. Yes. He literally Moving. just survived a nuclear bomb. I don't know how you get any more OP than that, but... I'm here. I don't think he sees the assassin, so we're trying to slip him in there. Oh, we didn't get it in. What do you need? Um, okay. So, apparently, Fremen can survive nuclear explosions. That's the next next bounce pass for them. Holy shit, I can't believe that. Are we still going to get him? It's going to be close. We will have another nuke soon. Uh, I need to be more sneaky with where the assassin goes. He doesn't know where it's at right now, to my knowledge. Uh, we... Who messaged me? Rice and beans? Have to, or we are dead. I am fighting. I'm on the clock. Moving. Can I go like through here and then like up around this ravine? Yeah, that seems to be pretty good. Unfortunately, I think he's gonna stop it. Uh, cell search becomes free. Main base gets their business. I mean, I can't really play chum. Looks like he's gonna stop this one here. He's going to get it. But I don't know. The assassin might still get through. The attempt, that is. So, cell search can be... Yeah, that's nothing great. Let's just take the Solari upkeep production. For a little bit of money for us. We have to 2v1 him or else we're going to lose. For sure. Although, I can go start grabbing these hedge regions and playing that way. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so we'll come around this way. It's got to be pretty tight. It's got to be pretty tight. Let's get insulated valleys, why not? I'm on the clock. Yes, I'll stay hidden. Yeah, he's got his flyer there now, so that's not going to happen. 32% though, still pretty good. I think we might find a way to get him. So let's just shuttle with our boys uh, up here and start grabbing shit. And just hope it goes off, you know. Because the infiltration cells are they are gone now, but I still have a progress factor of 30%. Or 29, so that's really not terrible. Um, all right, rally point here. Do a bunch of gunners. If he didn't survive that nuke, I think we got him. But the fact that a Fidekin can survive a nuclear bomb is pretty OP. Yeah, I'm going to have another nuke. It's got to be tight. He's at 94 right now. Hopefully it'll keep ticking up. It's costing me a bit to keep it running, but I can still kind of buy Chome, which is funny. Okay, so we're going to take the White Rift. We're going to go for the uh, buildings that, of course, give us hedge. So let's get the passive hedge buildings. Try and win that way, and um, now we need to go ahead and get the yeah knowledge at this point. Whatever it's like, you know, the die is cast, as it were. And we got another nuke though. Hopefully the smugglers will help. I don't know what what support I can expect from them, but hopefully something. Uh, if they try and get me, I got nukes. He is currently at 95, so it's going to be. Uh, you are currently... Okay, so it will work eventually, it looks like, I think, according to that tooltip. So I think we got him. It's just going to take a long time. Is it 95, 96? We do have another nuke, so wherever he comes, we can we can hit him good. And we just keep expanding northwards. White Rift is really good. And what else can we get that's like special in his territory? Up here, I think? Yeah, 259, so we, we go get that. Take that authority. And we need to get the drop here. Let's, like, politic with the smuggler guy a little bit. Yeah, I can't. I don't even have enough to ally him. Okay, he's coming to kill me. And uh, let's go here and fly back. The OP Fremen, they come. The nuclear-resistant Fremen, I dare say. Okay, let's recall. 
And let's get back to the base. You know, we can't, we can't just be dying here. So that's pretty important here. Um, I might need to nuke him. I might need to nuke him. So we're gonna worm call him here. You wanna see the power combo, the LOL combo? Is he gonna charge my base? Is he? Is he coming for it? Okay, we might need to nuke these bad boys. Might might even toxic vapors here to protect, to just kill more. And um, I can buy mercs actually, which will rally back here. Okay. The Fremen army is pretty brutal. I don't think it's going to be enough to kill my base. Um, unfortunately, oh man, are we being liberated up there? Or is that just a pillage? I can't see the tooltip. Okay, it's a pillage. We're fine. That one is being salvaged though, so I might need to nuke you off that. Okay, the Fremen are at my base. I can't stop this liberate, so I'm going to nuke them because you got to do what you got to do. Okay. We got those. And uh, this is the most haggard nuke of all time, but I need to get them off. Oh, yes, the, the Baron, the Maniac. Are we going to get him? It's still ticking up. Okay, the White Rift is fully operational there. Let's get an airfield up there just in case we want to fly that way, I suppose, or just get some water. Yeah, water is good. My guys have been parched for a long time. And um, it doesn't look like this is being captured at the moment, or it is. He's got an invisible guy there. Okay. Okay, let's do this. And let's get some H2O. I, I legit can't even build buildings. And uh, let's get troopers. Just cheap, crappy chaff units, right? It's all over the place. Uh, you are currently assassinating the leader. It's at 7%, so I think that's not going to work. So we cancel that. And try and get some money back. I think our base is going to be okay. We have the White Rift giving us passive hedge, so we're getting 37 a day, which is respectable. I do have enough to grab another special region, though, which might just give me the game. So I'm going to try that. Okay. So rally point, let's go up here. And we're going to go snake another region. Um, Fremen are going to jump up here, but it's not going to be like special region hedge. I need to just run all the way up here and grab that. And then I think we can we can get the dub that way. Real oppression right here? It is. Literally just using a nuke to kill like two units is, is very barren. Okay, let's get heavies. Uh, troopers are ready. So let's get you and just run all the way up here. We will have the supply drop. Fremen are pretty close to me. Uh, Cerberus and yeah, gunners, whatever. There's any units we can make. I don't have enough for another nuke, sadly. The Baron has, his coffers have been drained considerably. Oh, these aren't deployed for some godforsaken reason. Love it. Didn't they auto redeploy? Didn't, or did they change that? I don't know, that's weird. Oh God, I have seven water. This is so shitty. Uh, all right, so we need to cancel that. And then we go here and we grab you and put you in the um, supply drop to get it instantly. And we just hopefully can get that. If they lose that fight, I'm going to be pretty sad. Okay, so the supply drop's on the way. I am out of nukes officially. Let's get some militia so it's not like a free capture there. We should have another supply drop in time. Oh, uh, man, this is close. This is really close. Is the research district up in the base yet? Oh, shit, I didn't get that one. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so we can actually cancel the embassy. I don't know if it's gonna matter, but I could have actually probably won the game if I had built that other building. All right, so we're being attacked. We're being liberated by the Fremen. At this point, I don't know if we can stop them. He's got like this like crazy power. Oh my god, are we gonna run out of supplies up here for real, dude? I thought I used the thing to speed that along. Okay, let's get this popped here though real quick. <sighs> that was close. All right, let's take that. And the main district base. Um, oh, I do already have that. Okay, good. I didn't screw that up. I thought I forgot to research that. All right. So no nukes on the table. Diplomatic Congress, sales incentive. You know, we could actually do the sales incentive and sell our chome. That's actually really nice. Oh, or I could get Diplo Congress, which would force the Fremen to get Trader. They're both viable options. He only has 88 votes. I have 119. Hmm. So selling chome is, is going to be interesting here. I think forcing the Diplo is going to be, it'll stop his cap captures in progress. So that's going to be really strong for buying, buying me time. All right, so we're grabbing that top base. Research district, yeah. No, I have it, I have it, so. 
See, so he should get canceled here. We're fighting. We're grabbing this top territory. Is there any other ones I can grab nearby? Okay, we're at 29.6, which is pretty pretty good. Is there any other regions I can get? 258? Oh, do I have any of those things to get the resources? The Fremen are decapping a lot. Um, they have just like these colossal Chungus armies everywhere. We need to go ahead and pay the spice tax and make sure we pay it. That's going to be very important. And can we get this? 217. And this one is what? 258? Okay, so let's get down here and capture this. If we can get that before he can kill us, then we're, we're golden. I don't think they're going to make it back, those troopers, though, which is really unfortunate. But he's decapping a lot. We just need one territory and we get the dub. All right, so could I have sacrificed you to get that quicker, the supply drop? Yeah, whatever. I don't know if they're going to make it. All right, let's do this and do that, and then we can get you on the supply drop. Get you guys all sauced up here. Let you rebuild supplies for a second. Ah, he's triple capping us. Okay, we got some supplies back. And um, that should be coming. Okay, I think that's going to be enough to dive in there. Pretty damn close, man. Pretty damn close. The chunks uh, are trying. Probably sell some chome. I should have done that earlier. Okay, so if I capture this before he captures decaps my shit, then I win. Uh, let's go ahead and sell some chome. Do we want to sell some chum? Yeah, we can sell some chum. I think that's going to go off before. It's going to be pretty tight. Um, in the main base, let's set our rally point right here. And we need to just basically contest that. So we're going to get some mercs out. He's running up there, but I don't think he's going to make it in time. All right. So we need to just run on the point, buy a little bit of time here, just Benny Hill basically, and just do it. Oh, we got it, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yes, we beat the OP Fremen. Yes, we took them down with the power of nuclear technology. Holy shit. I think you got it. Oh my god, dude. I was I was so impressed with that game. I was the Fremen that game in spirit. <laughs> I was like the reverse storyline. Baron Junkus Maximus. Oh Jesus, dude. God, they're so disgusting. How do you beat them head up? We got him. We got him really close to the assassination too. The nukes. The nukes are what did it for us. Yeah, nuking phones champion and the nuking uh, these other guys. That was haggard. That really was. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So I definitely will until they get fixed. I would ban them from lobbies because that's just just busted, man. I felt like our economy should have been stronger than it was. I have no idea what the smugglers were doing either. Yeah, the Fidekin surviving a nuke, that's my new favorite thing. I know. Yeah. I'll take it, dude. Isaiah, dude. GG, man. Well played. Yeah, the firemen are busted as hell, dude. Oh, man. You guys weren't joking. I can see I can see why they're getting banned in lobbies. That's nuts. Pretty nuts. Yeah, they're immune to nukes, too, apparently. So if you had an army of Fidekin and I drop a nuke on their head, they would survive at, like, 25%. That's pretty nuts, man. How long have we been going for, by the way? Three hours? Oh. I'm trying. I'm tempted to... Tempted to do another one, but I think I'm going to call it for now and rest my hands. I got some other stuff I need to work on. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was a fun one. That was, uh, that was pretty cool. Smugs were chilling. Very... Yeah, they were chilling. Yeah, the, the... Apparently the skirmisher units are the big problem when you spam those, but, man, I can see, like, uh... Yeah, like Stilgar seems really good too. You get all sieges. That's so nice. And uh, Mother Amalo giving you intel per deployed harvester team is pretty cool too. So you can do some like serious intel stuff. This seems, this is insanely good too, Jamis. Like gaining authority when you liberate an enemy village is pretty good. 50 authority. So like if Fremen in the late game can definitely spike on hedge with this tactic. I don't even know what their heroes do either. GG well played, Dima. Yeah, it was a good game. You were allied with Smugs the entire game? Yeah, no, he was... It makes sense. Each village producing water. Yeah, they seem really good now. Really good. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. We'll be streaming some more Dune this week. I really am enjoying the game right now. So um, we'll be back. Drop a like on the way out. 
Hopefully you enjoyed watching my uh, Harkonnens get massacred by Fremen, just like the movies. It's perfect. It's lore friendly. And um, Vernius also. I'm excited to um, play around with Vernius. Yeah, I, I think there's some cool text here with these guys. I don't know. I feel like Assassin Vernius is the strongest so far of the various archetypes I've played. Because they're assassinating, they can have like... Vernius can have a ton of infiltration cells. You could have like six or seven infiltration cells, which is nuts. Because every border territory you have, um, the infiltration cells on the other side don't count towards your limit. So you can have so many. Like in the other game, I had four. Yeah. GG, well played. All right, guys. Appreciate you all. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to go hang out with the lovely wife. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Adios. Dovidenia. Appreciate you all. Cheers. See ya.